personal ass. True. Sh- I'm getting into wrestling yeah, right now, bro. Gotta, you gotta pound the chest and be like, huh? Yeah. No, 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 I'm getting into wrestling right the fuck now, bro. Yeah, you told you totally right. It has to be just like it's just vowels. Like you choose a letter, like choose any letter in the alphabet. V. All right, now just choose a vowel. V- <laughs> choose a vowel. Oh, vowel, vowel, vowel. Yeah, just a new vowel. I'm tripping. Uh, a new vowel. O. O. I gotta be O. So you be like. True shit. Yo, that's definitely what. That's my life, man. Vo. Yo, fucking. You are live. Oh, shh. Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to an- another episode of Painting with Friends. As usual, I'm Baz Motherfucking Hazen. And today we have on a super special guest known as Nick Bohr. What up? He is the CEO of Lovelace Magazines I am. and the Boredom Podcast. Yes. And if you want to follow him, you can follow him at Nick Bohr on Twitter and Instagram. That's N I Q B O H R. Is it on the screen or no? It's not on the screen. Oh, it's up here. Cool. It's like right here. You can here. also yeah, find him. Above the, your left slightly. Boom. Yep. See, I wish my phone was on. I could show you. I can give you like a nah, that's not cool. Um, <laughs> Aaron's going to just be talking. I should be fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, up, you can man? also find him on lovelacenetwork.com. Yeah. That's where all the thing is. Right now we're promoting heel tape on there. Heel tape. Shout out to Conference 703. You're... Got the heel we, tape going. We've actually interviewed conference out there. You have, and that shit was hilarious. Because of you, motherfucker. Yo, we <laughs> I don't know what happened, but you, y'all had my boys, Khan and Omar, on here. And for whatever reason, you went off for like 15 minutes straight about, I don't even remember what. But we still laugh about that interview because that shit was hilarious, bro. I don't know what it was. I don't know. I just remember my boys' faces when that shit went off. That shit was hilarious. Nah, nah, nah. Shout out to you for being passionate. <laughs> That's what that was. For real, for real. That shit was crazy. Yeah, you really do, bro. Because that, that was... Was that last year? Yeah, it was yeah, Omar. Con, Con and Omar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, uh, they were both on there. And y'all were talking. It, it had to be like halfway through. And it probably was. their fucking faces, man. That shit was, that shit was crazy. All you had to but, say was Aaron, and you pointed out. I was like, oh, this got wild. Yeah, <laughs> got it was. Wild. Yeah, it was crazy, man. I was like, yo, but yeah, they're they're uh, con con <laughs> has his uh, new mixtape that just dropped like last week. The hill tape, hill tape. Yep, 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 yeah. yep, yep, yep. How much uh, how much influence did you have on that tape? Uh, th- I or don't contribution. Have, oh, contribution. Um, uh, I always when it comes to con, it's really just like a. Um, it it's definitely been like a partnership with like I've known that man for ten years. Mm-hmm. Like he literally just had his birthday; he just turned twenty eight. And I remember when he turned eighteen. Like I said that shit to him, like when I like dapped him up on his birthday and shit. Like so, I've known that man forever. So like, I like I always like to think that like anything I've been doing, Khan's always had some some input in. Same with anything Khan's done, I've definitely had some input in. But you know, I. It's hard to say exactly what, you know, I'm on the cover of the thing and like, but like I was like totally like honored to be on the cover of that shit. Like, cause that shit, cause that shit is just nuts. But talk about it in a way, it's like a lifelong, it's like a lifelong brotherhood. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it just, you know, it, that's really all it is. It's just, I'm, I've, I've been with that dude since fucking day one for real. That's crazy. Yeah. Like it's the high school shit. Like. When we were all terrible at what we were doing. Like, what, what was the connection? What was like the building connection? Music, definitely. There it was wasn't like... Le- nah, ex- back when I was... I, I used to rap in high school. And when he heard something of mine, he came up to me like in the gym and was like, yo, I want to work with you. And then we like went to my like basement at, as a kid and like recorded a song. And like ever since then, like that basement's been like fucking iconic. Like, you, still li- you still have that basement? Uh, my dad is, but I don't live there anymore. Okay. Yeah, 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 but like, do you ever like visit that basement and go down there? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My brother lives in that basement now, and so like, like, and actually, like that, the room. There's a room down there that I turned into like my podcast studio at the time, and like everyone signed the walls and shit. Like anyone's ever been in there and signed the walls, and the signatures are still up. Um, but I had to take pictures because I think my sister in law is gonna paint that shit soon. Oh damn. Yeah. So like, but like a lot of people signed that damn wall. Like, That's crazy. I would have thought like for real, for real that um. The connection y'all guys, you guys would have had was like 
maybe y'all connected over like wrestling. So that the fact that it's no, like, I'm really just getting into wrestling. Like, like yeah, like like because uh, it seems like Khan's been like a wrestling fan. Oh, for he's like, been like, a wrestling fan forever, and I never like literally like we would make fun of each other like because he doesn't like football and I love football. Like he would make fun of like how he doesn't like football, and I would make fun of how I didn't like wrestling. And recently, like I attribute to whenever whenever Becky Lynch became the man. Yeah, that's when I started watching wrestling, like really, like getting into it. And now, like I'm t- like now, I'll be like uh, looking at Twitter and stuff like that and news feeds and telling Con about shit. Like, yo, did you hear like this shit's gonna go down? Blah blah blah. Like, and that's I'll, like a brand new connection. It's always yeah, cool it's when crazy, you can, man. Like, find something new to connect with a friend. Over. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, because yeah, like I've known he's been into wrestling forever. Like, I helped him start a wrestling podcast. And like he, they recorded the wrestling co- podcast in my basement, and I still. Like was never really into it, like Sheesh. and I yeah like. But you learn like something about wrestling. I probably yeah, I mean a little bit like during the podcast. During, during, when they did the podcast, I was definitely learning a little bit about stuff. But I really was getting into it recently, recently. What made you to like the side? Like what was it? What was um, the factor? Re- honestly, Khan uh, moved in with uh, his girlfriend and my uh, business partner. They moved into an apartment together. Mm-hmm. Um, and I go over there pretty much like every day. Like I literally just left there. And uh, now you're good. <laughs> I just left there. Um, so she was like one of your business partners. She is a business partner, still my business partner, like probably my main business partner. Actually, like she helps me make every decision I make. Um, but I literally just left their apartment. Now I'm over there every day, and so and wrestling's pretty much on every day. So I'm really over there, like when Raw's on, SmackDown's on, and now AEW's on, like all that shit. Like that's crazy. Yeah. So I would just she would just have it on. And I would just start watching, and then he would show me, like, so old So she's, like, shit. a wrestling fan, too? She is now, yeah. So you're all, like, recently... We're all wrestling fans, yeah. Con has converted both Con converted a lot of it, yeah. Oh I don't know how deep she was in before they met, but she's definitely a fan now. Both, like, two of my group members are huge ref- wrestling fans, and yeah, I just man. never understood it, so I'm, like, kind of in your Bro, seat. Bro, like, honestly, if you get it, it's really fun to watch. And that's, like, it took me a while to get over that. Who's your favorite wrestler right now? I... I, I, I know what you mean, actually, because I, I was the same way, in a way. Mm-hmm. But uh, I I haven't gone to an actual WWE event yet. But I was uh, to I'm a, trying to. I'm so hard to. I bet you're going to fucking love it. Because I was listening to yeah, a podcast dude. with a, a, a comedian I enjoy a lot. And he never got the wrestling thing. Mm-hmm. But he went with another comedian who, like, loves wrestling. Yeah. And so when he actually went to the real WWE thing, he, yeah. like, you can understand it now. It's like, it's, yeah. it's a big fun show yeah i haven't event, like, i haven't gone to wwe with it but they used to have a league around here called nova pro wrestling yeah. i went to one of those and that shit was super dope and yeah. like that really helped me like really get into like where it sounds like yo because this like this shit live is crazy like yeah. same with hockey games like i don't know if you're not in hockey at all hockey games are really fun yeah, but um my favorite wrestler right now shit i really like ricochet Ricochet? Ricochet bounces off the fucking walls. He's a fucking, like, they like call him. Like, Ricochet from the fucking, like, cartoon? No, no, no. Like, I, don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. But, like, oh, the, yeah, but not, like, there's a wrestler named Ricochet. And he, Is like, he, does he wear a mask? Is he, like, a luchador? No, 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 he's not. No, no, no. He he could have, like, a long time ago. I really don't know. But uh, right, right now, he doesn't wear uh, a mask or anything like that. He but bounces he, off he shit. bounces off the fucking walls. And he's, like, he, like, we keep saying, like, he could easily be, like, an Avenger. Like him, like being an Avenger, just as Ricochet would be fire oh on some real shit because he's fucking dope. Yeah, you know how I mean, you know how boring the fucking Avengers are. Oh, where do you know the Avengers? Nah, most of them are boring. Like you got the one that shoots some arrows. You got the one oh, that's, not that's wearing skin tights. You got the one with the shield, and it's just like that's <laughs> the boring. One with the shield. <laughs> it's like it's somebody who's bouncing off of some shit. <laughs> <laughs> he got the cheeks though. Yeah, yeah. He, it's America's ass, with, bro. He shows some respect. Yeah, he he is the one with the most cheeks. <laughs> I, I won't lie. Nah, man. I, give my I man love the Steve Avengers. Shit. Some credit on that shit. I love the Avengers, man. Um, I, love I was the sad when too. they almost lost Spider Man. Did you watch the Spider Man shit? Um, I didn't see the new one. Um, the new one's kind of boring because it's like it's not even Spider Man's own movie, bro. It's more about the Avengers than it is Spider Man most of the time. It's like, goddamn, let let him Whoa. get some screen time. Let him at least get uh, like a little bit of screen time. You know what I mean? I could maybe say that about Far From Home. Because they were doing a lot of like they were, I think they were trying to do a lot of, I wouldn't say cleanup from Endgame, but like they were really trying to like, because Endgame was so popular, bro, that they had to kind of like 
yo, the next Avengers has to talk a lot Wait, about was Endgame. Was Endgame the one before or after? The no, next? that's the last, last one before. I haven't everything. seen that joint yet. That okay, yeah, that that one's really good too. But because cause I heard, like, I like all that shit. Man, I heard Endgame basically just wraps up everything from the last movie. It makes the last movie so pointless. I'm just like, God. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I watched that shit. I watched the last movie before Endgame. I watched it bootleg on Facebook. I'm not gonna lie. Shout out to everybody that posts his movies on Facebook because. You saved me dollars. It's so, like, what's it? What's this? Jones, what's this website called? I can't remember. Like I'm one, you got like one, two, three movies. You got pirate movies. You got like potlucker or whatever it is. I don't know. Was that one called? I can't remember. I don't fucking know. Shout out to that. I still pay for shit like Netflix. Shit. So there's, <laughs> there's like, is wrestling like? Do you feel like it's like parallel to superhero movies to you? Like, um, like the whole identity thing, the whole like signature poses. Do you feel like that's what the drawing is? I th- I wouldn't say that fully. Did I kill it? <laughs> Did you get it? I don't know. <laughs> um, I wouldn't say that. Like, really. I mean, I'm sure there's some definite definite similarities. I don't know if it's. You know, I don't. I don't think that's the pool. I don't think that's the pool fully. The themes. Yeah. What do you think the drawing is? What's the drawing? Just. I mean. Is it the drama? Yeah, drama, the theater around it, the damn. Because uh, that's what drew me in when I was like a kid. Yeah. I would watch the shit and I'd be like, "Yo, this shit is some drama." Yeah. This man, Kane's bitch, just got smashed by his brother. The li- uh, literally like two weeks ago, a dude like was literally like making out with a uh, dude's wife like right in front of him. Like dude was in the ring and dude came out See, with his saucy. wife and made for yeah. That shit that's was crazy. Saucy. That's saucy that shit was nuts. Face. That shit was nuts. That's and dude saucy. didn't do didn't do do shit. Like, he just stood in the ring and just let it go. Like, that shit was wild to me. That's saucy. Yeah. Shit. See, that's the type of shit that keeps you, like, that. as a viewer, that this is like, it's too much It's too much drama and you pique my interest that I just have to watch this for the full fuckery of it. Yeah. Like, yeah, this no, shit is definitely. insane. Yeah, um, no. For me, it's the violence, though. Like, so, like, it doesn't get too violent now. Yeah. But, like, AEW, there's a new league that came out. It's not related to WWE at all. But, like, the dude came out on last week's episode with... A broom wrapped in fucking barbed wire and a bat wrapped in barbed wire and threw the bat at some other guy. And then they were like about to beat the shit out of each other until a dude sprinted out with a fucking chair and hit him in the back of the fucking head. It was old school shit. Yeah, yeah, no, that (laughs) that shit was last week, bro. That shit was last week. Yo, AEW AEW is on WWE's ass right now, bro. Hey, they bringing up that old WWF days, right? Yeah, the WCW shit. Yeah, all that. That's a police. They're bringing all that shit back. Yep, definitely. That's what I love. I used to watch it a lot as a kid. Yeah, no. And it was just. That AEW yeah. shit is n- like yeah. If you used to watch this kid, AEW is what what's up. That's Bad. that's the shit. Yeah, because WWE's man, they're doing some wild shit, bro. They're trying to conform. I, I feel like, like be uh, their last one. their last pay per view was so fucking disappointing, bro. Like it was really disappointing. Like just the I didn't want. Nah, my boy has the the okay. network or whatever it is. Less, the, less yeah, yeah, no, definitely not, definitely. But um, my boy has the app, so we had just watched it on there. But the way they ended, like a couple of things, was just super super stupid. Like, so does the hill tape have any like wrestling it's all wrestling the hill tape's all wrestling all wrestling themed yeah yeah it's, it's all i think i think if it's, if it's not all wrestling samples it's mostly wrestling samples too Sheesh. yeah like um like there's a song on there called money dance um that features tyler donovan uh it's literally shane mcmahon's uh walkout song and you're okay with that as like copyright and infringement and- yeah i mean if we get an nda then we must be doing something right that's how i look at it yeah I mean, you can always take it down if, once you get hit with that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, that's, just, that's, 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 that's all it is. It is. That's all. Or not NDA. What's the uh, season to assist? Yeah. yeah. If yeah. we get. Oh, just the, the thing I learned is just wait until they say they're going to have to take legal action and then respond to it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, if, if we're big enough for them to cease and desist us, yeah. we must yeah. be doing something and it right. it starts at the warning first, too. So oh, that was always one. Yeah. yeah. Fuck that. And then and it's yeah. like, all right, well, you haven't responded, so we might have to. It's and like, then you're like, oh, okay, hold up, hold up. Yes, but it's like back when Drum had that song Cha Cha and it had a bunch of Nintendo samples and they got at his ass, you knew he was going somewhere in life. Yeah, that's Because that, you like. Do. Yeah, it's like, yo, I can't wait for that. Like, I would love a cease and desist off that. Fuck, I would yes. love it. It's like, yes, we're fucking, we're making you noise. Do, you take it down, upload it to YouTube, you put the sample in there, yeah. you still get views. Yeah. You still or just change it up real quick. What well, fuck it? Yeah. I ain't worried about Drop it. Drop the sample out, put the regular beat, people still go, they gravitate to it because yeah. it's controversial. No, I'm not afraid of that shit because they're not really, what are they going to we don't have any money, bro. What they're going to get? Yeah, so it's like, like, yeah, so they ain't going like, to come after you. They're waiting yeah, for you to no, build no. up the money. Yeah, exactly. 
Then nah, that's what's up. I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't stray away from that shit. How long did y'all work on the tape? Um, that one. Uh, I want to say a little under a year, but I could be totally wrong. That's definitely a question for Khan. I don't know. I like because some of these records, like because I watched some of these records, like happen like in front of my eyes. But some of them, like like Money Dance, the full version of Money Dance, I didn't hear till that shit dropped. Jeez. And I like doing that shit, like especially with my guys, like my artists and shit like that. I like being a fan of a little bit of it because like I don't want to, I don't want to know everything that's going on. I like yeah. being a fan of my guys still. Dang, I wish yeah. I wish Khan was here because I, I would yeah, ask you one mean? important question. Yeah, right. Yeah, it'd be, it'd yeah. be from my man Soup Dude. Soup Dude. Yeah, it would be from my. It would be one important question from my man Soup Dude. What's up, with Soup? I was Soup Dude left off the hill tape. <laughs> I was Soup Dude left Shout off the hill tape. Shout out, man, Soup man. He, you know, it's funny. He like his his whole thing man is being included, man, and he really should be included in more shit. Yeah, but. He's super so funny, bro. Because yeah, uh, our boy Hutch threw a show, is throwing a show on Halloween, and he's doing a whole fucking, uh, <laughs> fucking thing on his Instagram right now. Why? How come Soup ain't on this Hutch show type shit? That's so Cause, funny cause to Soup me. Because Soup was making yo, you should have yeah. seen him in our group chat. This man was talking a storm really? <laughs> all that shit. God damn, yo, <laughs> so funny, bro. Soup's the man, yo. Shout out to yo, Soup. It was Shout out so to Scudder too. Ohio. Like, he's, he's, he's yeah, no, character. I love Soup, man. He's great. Oh shit! You should have seen, man. We went to go get Asian noodles with them after the show we did in Lulu's. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm? that shit was hilarious. I've never seen Asian ladies so offended. If I didn't have to work, I definitely would have been there. Oh my god! Because yeah, it watching was, was all well, y'all bro. and Soup and Dan V and oh, my was Flo's at y'all too? Pure no, Flo's at home. I think. Uh, Flo, yeah, Flo's at home. But yeah, it was just pure shout out to Flo's too. Pure ignorance, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, not I've bad. never. <laughs> I probably would have been a good 20 minutes in that bitch, and I probably would have dipped out. That's just yeah, me. I'm that, tired. I'm an old man. I'm high. an old man, yo. I like just going home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Talk to me about Lovelace Magazine. Mm-hmm. Um, so the idea pretty much came from I was kind of hanging around a bunch of um, uh, writers and stuff like that, and um, I wanted to create something for them and really create something that, you know, would um, – as far as the magazine goes, it really became just like a platform, like a, just a new blog yeah. at first. Because when, we, when we were looking at it, and uh, me and Aaron were browsing through it, it was mm-hmm. a really professional looking, thank you, like that. magazine, like online magazine. You looked at the, you looked at the digital all, shit, huh? You looked at the digital magazine, the actual. Yeah. Mag- oh, okay, cool, yeah. Yes, yeah, because we were looking through it, and we were very impressed with it. I and, appreciate um, that. It was it was a blog. It was a blog in every sense of the word of that mm-hmm. it's a blog, and that's what all magazines I think are. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it was when magazines were like the thing that was what blogs are now. And that's and what I yeah. felt like a magazine would be. Like yeah, was, so like, and I definitely wanted to take. I did all the graphic design on that magazine, all, on all together. the on all those magazines. I did the graphic design, and like when someone told me it reminded them of the Tumblr website, like yeah. I really was like, holy fuck. Because, like, as far as graphic design goes, that's a lot of my inspiration. So, like, when they told me that shit, they like, remind me of Tumblr. I was like, holy fuck, dude, that's Easy, crazy. That's my aim. But, yeah, it's like, I mean, as far as the brand goes now, it's very, like, Lovelace Network really is the big thing that I'm doing, where it's as Lovelace Magazine kind of is the front for everything. Mm-hmm. So, Lovelace Magazine is really just a creative platform for anyone that I come across that, or any of my team comes across that, um that deserves a shine because there's really no one else to really report on that yeah i mean it's like you know it's it's definitely like the 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 show the the showcase thing it's like a lot of lack in that in that department as well um but like you know there's people like otd and like oh yeah the with you guys with the congested thing coming up like i've seen a lot of my guys on that shit and and people that I know like getting like a good like a good shine off that, and I appreciate y'all for putting that together. Um, and but like it's like there there used to be a bunch of blogs and platforms or whatever you want to call them um, that are just aren't around anymore. So like no one's getting any right looks now. anymore. So it's yeah. like and like so as far as like the things that I'm doing, like I'm really the only person I see doing it. And so I'm gonna can gonna be continuing to do that. Amen. As long as I can. <laughs> magazines are hard. I really, I really respect you for it because we tried to do it ourselves. Yeah, and like magazine became more of a nostalgic term rather than an actual magazine. I never, I never intended to actually do a magazine. Really? Uh, yeah, I really just liked how Lovelace magazine flowed. Like I had the Lovelace name forever, 
And when I when I watched a movie called Almost Famous, and it was a dude who he used to write for a, a magazine called Cream Magazine, and then he got hired for Rolling Stone to follow a uh, a band around. And just the way he was walking up to people talking about I write for Cream Magazine with a magazine in his hand, I thought that was super dope. And so I was like, I want the people who write too. for Lovelace to do that. Like I want like I write for Lovelace magazine. And so that's yeah, kind of where it came from. And then so the magazine, the word magazine in the brand is really just a nostalgic Feel like to it. thing. But yeah. It's mainly a blog. Yeah, so it's, it's yeah, mainly a blog, it's mainly a platform. It's you know it like that like that Instagram and stuff like that. That's really you know where it, where it kind of lives. It like yeah we have articles up and we had the couple of digital magazines that those things take forever. That's why I haven't done one in like a year. <laughs> you haven't but, dropped a single magazine in a year. No, those one the ones you've seen are like really old. Oh snap! How, yeah. How like frequently were you dropping them before? Uh, I was doing them like seasonally. So I did a I did like a spring one, a summer one, a fall one, and then I tried to do I the was winter really one. I was like. Was he dropping these monthly? Because no, this, they no, were no. so packed full of content. Yeah, because it was like sixty pages, right? So like, yeah. So like, how I was explaining to people like why I stopped is like, okay, take think of a cover art, like one cover art for your for your song. Yeah. Now times that by sixty, and that's what I had to do oh, on my shit. own. Because <laughs> far as graphics go, like you know, like because I never really, I only wrote. I only ever really wrote the end piece. There's a, like a little end piece called like from the desk of Lovelace at the end of the thing that I would just write. So who else is writing? Um, my head editor his name is Amira Maxwell. She's amazing. She uh, lives in Louisiana. Um, she used to go to Howard University. I met her just through uh, different blogs that she was working for, and she came over to me. She was one of my first main writers and wow. like since then she just moved her way up to like as far as any articles go she like any submissions that we have like our main thing right now is um the lovelace magazine submission email that we have yeah anything that goes through that thing is all amira like that she's she's like as far as the actual magazine goes amira runs that thing that like is she crazy. is amazing yeah so shout out to her shout out to you amira i haven't talked to you in a little bit hope you're doing well um but she's totally amazing. Like she runs that whole thing, but on her own at this point now. So it's what crazy. Are your, what are your plans for the future of Lovelace Magazine? Um, as far as the platform goes, I, I'm definitely doing more shows. Definitely doing more shows. We've we did a uh, a residency at a place called Civil in Manassas. Okay. Um, it's a clothing store. We we uh, did six shows there. Six showcases there. Is that the is that the um the one building that's like it's really it's like a box, and they have like the clothing on the side. Is it like it's like really small, like in old town Manassas? Like yeah, like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's, that's, right, that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. It fits like a. It looks like it fits like thirty people. Is that it's like yeah, it fits like forty people. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, it's not. It's not that big. No, I mean, but like okay, we've been there a lot. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like we threw six shows there. We did a couple of gaming tournaments uh in there um and it was we had a great time. We had a great turnout. See now I'm jealous. I've only ever been to like one show where i saw like con at and that was about it where was and, that at um it was it was there it was like, oh, okay so, yeah and then okay like, shit yeah and then like the rest of them i had just heard about through like other artists that were performing on there because you know i yeah. get my information from the internet like most times unless yeah I seen it, that's I'll, how it works out. that's how yeah. i do it unless somebody like sends it to me right, right right yeah so i mean yeah so we we did that um and we like i said we we killed it and i'm looking to go back and do that again yeah, just because I, I have a great relationship with the uh the owner of civil his he's name is cam cool yeah cam's really dope man he he's he's got so much vision for both the scene and what his spot right there like he's got so much vision for all that shit it's so needed, bro. <laughs> it really so that's that's really why i'm like sticking it out because it's like yo i could just stop everything and do something else like yeah. i could just stop and just do my podcast you know what i mean just talk about shit forever but it it it's something that's needed. It's it's a void that really needs to be filled because otherwise no one's no that's no it, bro. It's like we get like there was a thing called SOE Fest a couple months ago, and like if you know I if I had stopped and just let like you and OTD and SOE Fest go, there would only be like six shows this year. Yeah, but like with me around, there was three times as many. That's what's up, bro. You know what I mean? Like it's just Even like alive, you know, yes. yeah. So it's like, and that's you know, that's Nova. You know, that's too like, like we just uh, stopped doing uh, 
we just we did a show a couple days ago in Baltimore, and then we did a show last month in D.C. One? What's up? Was that Drip Fest? No, no, no. Oh, okay. We did a, a show um, at a place called Pipe Dreams. Oh, I know Pipe Dreams. We met the owner. We actually had uh, we met him in 2016. Oh, right. Yeah, back when he was only taking like uh, Baltimore uh, artists. We had just yeah. Up to, um, we were just walking around, and we walked into the shop. He has a pretty lit shop. It's kind of like civil. with the with the with the civil stairs and everything like that. Yeah, because like was that there he then? had like the artist recording room in the back, and we thought it was very dope. We yeah. still follow him on uh, Instagram. Yeah, that's that's a, dope, that's a dope. That's a dope venue. It's a dope venue. I have not been back there since. Yeah, we had, we had a good time for for a Virginia brand and a Virginia act. We've been working closely with this uh, Virginia act called Wamba Combo. Those are my guys, um, but uh, we. Lovelace and Wamba Combo been working to put together a couple shows in uh in celebration of their release. Mm-hmm. Uh they put out an EP called uh Wamba Combo Seize the World Conquest. It's a whole thing. It's fucking amazing. Um but we've been throwing shows with them and you know, for just being a VA act and a VA brand pretty much going to Baltimore and you know, bringing as many people as they did it was it was very nice. So what do you think will make it more cohesive to um put more music on the map for Virginia? Um, it's, it's, it's tricky because I think, because I've been thinking of myself differently than what I think artists should be doing. I think artists should definitely be leaving the area they live in. I think they should be going anywhere they possibly can to shout Virginia. And, you know, like we, li- we literally like Soup Dupe and Dan V and uh, Flows and all of us, we went to a, a a place uh it was an open mic in maryland and we literally our plan was just to fucking hijack that shit and scream virginia the entire time we, we were in college park maryland and we just That's screamed weird. virginia and they fucking hated it bro they fucking did they not did. like it bro yeah, i know they did they fucking I were, know they didn't. yeah they they we pay we pay like a certain amount to get ourselves like on a recap video and like i i heard that like they didn't even like film us like it was some wild shit like we like yeah, so nobody hates fuck y'all. VA more than DC <laughs> and Maryland. Anymore. I don't know why, bro. Like, cause just, Lily, like last week too, like a couple days ago, like there was a bunch of uh, Baltimore dudes we were hanging out with, and like, yo, it's it's. I think I know why. Why do you think it is? Cause Maryland and hugs Virginia, like it's so small. It literally so it hugs, hugs it? the top oh, okay. of Virginia. Like they're not really their own state. They're just like it's like Virginia was just like. We don't want this small little sliver. We just because like yeah. Maryland technically would complete Virginia into being like a weird little thing. A little square. It, it literally just hugs the top of us. Hmm. So I feel like I, I'm just pulling shit out of my ass. But nah. it's like it's such a small state. Like it is so small. I feel like they hug more us. than nuts of DC. You want to be real about it? It's just no, yeah, D- they're like, they're like DC right and there. Maryland have such like a more like co- collected like connected uh, culture. Mm-hmm. And then when they're you include connected. VA, it's like. It's like that culture isn't as connected, and I think that's what it is, to be honest. Yeah. Well, just like D.C. roads, Maryland roads are shit, so they're used to it. <laughs> I'm going to call them both Crabs out because y'all need football. to – where is your tax dollars going? Honestly, I hate driving on Maryland roads. Y'all got to fix your shit. Your highways nuts. are fun, though, because people speed a lot more than they Yo, do. Yo, I didn't realize how big and annoying M&T Bank Stadium is in the middle of Baltimore. You ever been there? It's like oh, right. It's like it's like, it's like yo. The highway goes just right. Him, bro. Go- <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm it's trying to get. I'm trying to get I've this. You, you know the old J- Dave Chappelle joke where uh, I went to the projects and you crackhead sk- sh- skitters all the. At eleven in the morning, you'll have just crackheads <laughs> walking the middle of a four lane highway. Right. Like, yeah, no, you're stopping for me. I'm walking across. I don't give a shit. Like they'll, yeah. they'll just walk across the fucking highways. They don't give a fuck. It, it drives me nuts. And it's all torn. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm done. I wish oh, that was. I wish that was more uh, targeted in my in my head. Because if I had known he had a thing about Maryland, I definitely would have said more shit about Maryland. Because <laughs> oh, I'm trying to recreate that whole moment that Khan and Omar had. Just like, <laughs> they just need to fix their roads. They don't have as bad yeah. as traffic as us. They just need to yeah. fix their roads. Like I feel you. And they just need to. They need to fix their inner city, which is the inner city of Baltimore. They need to fix that more because the downtown section of Baltimore is a lot nicer than. Let's just like, level the it. Start section, over. You know. I'm sorry, bro. Usually we have drawing contests on here, oh, I don't but I've been having so much fun talking to you. I'm just I oh man, I appreciate you, bro. And everything. <laughs> I just want to tell VA real quick. You know, I like it. That's a terrible VA. I don't know. That looks like a face right there. But I, I really think it's that know. it's that culture. Like um, DC and like PG County people, they they talk way more like as a collective culture. Like their lingo is more connected than anybody in VA. VA would probably be like, 
like, yo, what are you saying? What is what is this? What is mo- maybe? What yeah, is- I mean, yeah, I, I don't, I couldn't really speak on the what lingo as far like? as that goes, but yeah, Jaw Lake is funny. There's a rapper named Jaw Lake too. That's great is. branding. Shout to you, <laughs> shout to you, Jaw Lake, because I met him before. He's dope. Um, DJ Press Play in the chat said Maryland and Virginia seem like they are the same place, especially Arlington area. But that's from an outside. Don't let no one from Maryland hear you say that, bro. They'll get so. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the truth. Mm, uh, I mean, I don't know, like bro. When you drive th- here's the thing: when I drive through the suburbs of Maryland and I look at the houses and I walk in the houses because I film them there a lot, mm-hmm. like I'm just like, this is just VA houses. The like, there's no I, different. The only thing yeah. I ever noticed between people in in the culture of rap music and people in the culture of rap, rap music in like different parts of these sectors, like the Maryland versus Virginia, is that PG is a little bit more bougie ghetto, and then VA is like ratchet. They're ratchet to the core to where, like, their identity is ratchet, and, like, that's why I identify as. We weirdly celebrate it for some reason. Because why not? Who celebrates If I'm in the it? trap, I'm in the trap. I think, I think the Woodbridge... PG is like, I'm bougie in the trap, though. <laughs> well, PG County thinks they're D.C. Cele- like, they... I don't want to say celebrate, but they definitely do not deny the ratchetness. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. part of who we are, apparently. Whereas, yeah, PG County, I... I I, I used to be good friends with someone out in PG County. It we, we flamed him all the time because he would just hear shit. Just, you would like nah. hear shit on his own mic, and he'd be like, "Ah, shit, hold up, I gotta go lock the doors real quick." Like, <laughs> oh, nah, <laughs> like, oh, we're on, part man. of P. Damn, he nah. It. He still does, I think. But. That's fucked up. To be honest, bro, it's it's always been at least for me. Like when it when it became like kind of a thing of just. No one, no one in the DMV wanted Virginia as part of it. It's like, all right, fuck y'all, then we VA. Fuck, yeah, fuck. fuck. I mean, I'm not like. Only reason I even care about DMV is because it's been established that that's what that is. Like yeah, is. Th- that, this is the DMV because it's being called the DMV by everyone else. So, and like as I told my like team, it's like, yo, it's it's easier. And probably smarter to market ourselves as DMV acts. I'm sorry. Because it's already that? like that. When you got more famous artists coming from our area than the other areas, why would you exclude us? I don't know, bro. We got but Pusha T for I've definitely ways. gotten into Twitter things with like Rico Nasty about Virginia, like on some real shit. Like, Rico oh, Nasty? Yeah, well, me My and her. My fucking cousin lives out here. Me and her have like, like argued on Twitter about like. VA and she's shit. mostly from Virginia more than Maryland. Well, she got like this area like gave her like her shine. Like it she, did. Like, she's being Woodbridge all the time. Cause her fucking man, come on, bro. Yeah, no. She got legit family. And then she like, there. I think she said like, the Virginia's just nothing but like woods and shit. And I was like, man, fuck you, bro. You just recorded in the woods for most of your videos. Like shit. Like <laughs> <laughs> we have way better spots and way doper spots, and you know that for a fact. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Everyone That's cleans crazy. females though. So what do you think it would take for like for them to respect VA more? Um, do we have to outshine them again? <laughs> doing homework. Doing homework. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, we gotta make them do the homework. Yeah, I mean, just well, just fucking open Google for a fucking second and type Virginia artists and see what the fuck really is going on, bro. The bet the best production comes out of Virginia. It it did as does. Literally, the the if anyone's top five of producers comes out of two of them coming Always. from VA, bro. <laughs> Pharrell and Timbo. Like, let's let's really look at it, bro. That shit's crazy how they count us out. Yeah. Um I think like it would really take for us to just like outshine them again and really show them like what the fuck's going on. Like, oh, that's a, that's pound why for pound we have more versatility, way better yeah. artists, and like you're always gonna get a way better sound from us. And that's kind of why. I, that's why I go back to me saying like, yo, you y'all really just need to leave and go shout Virginia because otherwise they're not gonna know that we're Virginia. Like for real. Like and like because honestly, like I didn't really get that people were from VA until I like figured it out on my own. Like I did my oh, homework. Man, I do so much homework. You know what I mean? So like, I know people that will shout out DC, like go link, like like dude wasn't going out to school, like he wasn't going to school out here, like he wasn't in Richmond with like yeah. f- Chad French and like because like I said, like th- like I said too, though it's like it's it's better to claim DC because DC's a Poppin' City or claim DMV it's, because I mean it's easier when you go to other places and you ask them like people ask you where are you from you can't say but I think that I think Virginia. that stigma needs to stop and when you stop when you say DMV they don't know what the DMV is so people like easily like when we went to Texas yeah, for South by South they, they didn't know what the fuck we were talking about so we had to say Good. DC we just kept having to say yeah. DC and then they understood oh I know where DC is I know where nah. that's not on the map see I think it, I think if you guys said Virginia 
it'd be more of an interest. But we didn't want to say Virginia. But dude, no one Virginia knows at the time, either. it was still connected to that shit that had just happened in um, Charlottesville. So it was like, ugh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ugh. I mean, I think, uh, I I just think as from a, for a person who owns a brand, like if someone literally walked to me, yo, I'm an Idaho artist. That'd be wildly interesting to me. That would be. And so it's like, yo, I have to think, like, if someone was somewhere else and they're like, yo, I'm a Virginia artist, that would have to be somewhat of a... After all that shit went down, it became mm-hmm. more like we pinpointed it to what to say. Because beforehand, we used to say VA, but then, like, we realized that we had to separate from the rest of VA. But like, also, this is North, North VA. Northern VA and the rest of VA are vastly different. It's very exactly. different. Exactly. That's why it's we had to start different. saying it. Like, but it's just I don't know. Part. Just the North VA. North VA. Yeah, just North yeah. VA. Yeah. I, don't, I just say DC. Sorry, sorry to the rich like, we've been do, we've been doing the new Virginia thing. We're like twenty yeah. minutes out of DC or something like that. I just say DC because most people just don't. They don't know. No, but that's the problem though. Virginia. It's like fuck that. I say North VA. Like, I'm, I, don't, like I, don't I, hate, I don't like DC. I, like I don't like being I can't there. I can't do anything. I don't like I don't being there. Like, I'm not. That's not my shit, bro. Yeah, so like so like I don't like to say I'm from there. Yeah, it's like I wouldn't want to say I'm. I don't say from there. I just say that's where I'm at right now. Uh, no. Nah. People really ask him, just like Russia, and then people go, "What?" Yeah, no, nah, that starts nah. conversation. That does yeah. start a conversation. I don't know. I just because in Europe, no one knows what Virginia or Maryland is. Like when I was at in Europe for a month, they and know what Florida is. Oh well, yeah. Europe, I get. They know who Florida. <laughs> yeah, is. Like, I, I would just say DC. Europe, I would get. Capital. Yeah, Europe, I would get. Like Europe saying DC, fun. maybe. They but. all know who Florida was, so they're all like, "So what?" I literally had multiple people in Europe go like, "So what's up with Florida?" What's we up always Florida? get their news, and I'm like, "Oh my god." Yeah, Florida man's out here wilding. Yo, Florida man, crazy. I'm off the cocaine and Zans Call me Florida man To be the alligator Boy I beat him with my bare hands Yo that raping alligator out there Whoa I didn't even believe that shit I really didn't believe that shit yeah. I didn't believe people would actually do some shit like that <laughs> Florida's uh-huh. fucking insane Look, if, if, people have, if people have them as pets Eventually someone's gonna fuck it That's all I'm gonna say But who fucks an alligator Who though? fucks a goat Sign over to this guy. Exactly. That's just People nuts. fuck snakes, bro. You know how weird that is? No. Yeah, exactly. Nah, something like that popped up on Twitter and I had to like yeah, delete no, the no, app. No, no, no. Dead no, ass. No, 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 Dead no, no, ass. No, no, that's something shit. I signed out of Twitter for like yeah. a year. Or no, no, no. I had to delete the app for a little bit. Like for real. Like I had to delete. And then I had like, I signed in like maybe like an hour later just to be like, all right, it has to be gone. Yeah, yeah no. Nah. It has to be eradicated. No, nah, I, yeah, I almost threw the whole phone away. <laughs> I saw something yeah, for real. Like, I did. I can't. To see like back at the phone store, like, so are you having any problems? Or why don't you like yeah. it? Yeah. I saw someone fuck a snake on Twitter. Yeah. I can I can I get a flip phone again? Like, yeah. No no internet, please. Just flip phone it for me. That, is there is there an iPhone with no cameras? Because yeah. I was saying yeah, that's a moment that burns an image into your eyes and your memory that you can never let go. Oh no! Yeah, no, it's bad. Like I, I'm, I'm mad. I brought it on myself to bring it up. I've never seen somebody fuck a snake. I you don't want to. Possible. It's weird. You don't want to say it. <laughs> that is terrible. That is like a point in human history that you can't get out your eyes. You know what I mean? That scars you for life. That's like the roaches in Texas. I, like, I'll never let that shit go. Does this is like Maryland. It's a full-grown anaconda. Yeah. You know it's it does. funny. They're just a hat. They're a hat. You're right. Yeah, yeah hat. they hug us. They're just You're right hat, on top bro. of us. Like, they're just a so hat. thin. And then Pennsylvania's right there. Mm-hmm. I was yeah. trying to... This, you know what's funny? Uh, I was trying to... Diego and I were talking about this last night about Maryland's size. Mm. And... uh we were like, how long would it take to literally drive around the perimeter of Maryland? I tried to look it up. That's something apparently no one's ever typed up. But they've typed the perimeter of Maryland? States. Yeah, like just drive all okay. around the outside of it. They like just drive around Maryland. How yeah. long would it probably take? We think maybe six hours. Yeah. But I don't know how to do the Google Maps where you put yeah. waypoints down so you could track right, it. Right, I don't right. know how to do that. But yeah. if I could, that's something I want. I know the skinny part's only like an hour. Like the skinny part of Maryland's only oh, like a West Virginia. Yeah, you just yeah, yeah you go, you go through the little part and then yeah, I think it's like West Virginia's right here and then you yeah and and, you know. and going from DC to Baltimore is an hour too and Baltimore is like close yeah. to the center almost. So. It's kind of crazy. Jeez. Yeah, it's, it's small. I'm sure you can drive through it to Pennsylvania in like three hours because I think that's what we did every time we went to. Pennsylvania. Yeah, I mean the last time we went to three hours, I think two hours. I get the fireworks. Through, we had to go through Maryland to West Virginia to Pennsylvania to West Virginia Again, to get to Ohio. Why you guys went to West Virginia? It was just the fastest route this time. Where were we going to West Virginia for? Yeah. We we were going to Toledo, Ohio. Oh, okay. It took us it, it took us different routes every single time we went there. 
Yeah. Like the time we went there the first time, different route from the time we went there the second time. Well, the second the time, time we took the Pennsylvania Turnpike, I, I said, "Fuck it, I'm not, I'm not going through Hillbilly Alley anymore." I just took uh, the Turnpike. Uh, yeah, and then <laughs> way different from the next time. Like every single time we went there, you know, you know that cost us a hundred bucks to do that shit. Are you serious? Yeah, the Turnpike. Why? The only toll two road? there was yeah, the tolls. It's oh. about fifty, and coming back was about fifty. Fuck that. Yeah, that's insane. I had my yeah. whole GPS set to no tolls, and it still sent me through a toll the other day. I had to find cash. I must have oh, been a brand shit. new toll. I don't know what it was, for real. I don't know where I was. What I if it was just somebody to set it up and they were just like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Someone it was no in your room, you they're picking it up and yeah. walking away. Yeah, they earned, <laughs> they earned that room. money, bro, because that shit looked legit. He said, I'm going to get all my money. It's worth it. And yeah. they just take it down at night. And when all the cops come around, they said, it was no toll weird. That That's shit no would toll. be funny as shit. That should be hilarious. That would be fucked yeah, up. I, I, I hate toll roads, personally. I think they should be outlawed in this country. I don't think we should be privatizing our road system because mm. it, it just – why. You know what I mean? Like, why are we privatizing our road system when we also have to pay to maintain it? And it, it makes no sense to me. Let's see how long he goes about toll roads. Keep going. No, he has nothing on toll nah, roads. Damn. That's just my Sorry. only thing. I don't, Damn. I just, yeah. I don't think I'm we should it, privatize bro. that shit. <laughs> you have to wait till there's like a I feel you, though. Fuck that shit. You gotta turn up in emotion. And then ask when you know. Ah, I gotta let that go. Yeah. 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 Then you know. And nah, I give him the Omar face. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, tell me about the Boredom podcast. I've, I've been wanting to ask about Oh, it. yeah, yeah. So I that's... see it's on, like, Spotify. I see, like, um, you've been pumping it out very fluently. Oh, um, uh, yeah. So tell us, like, what is the Boredom podcast? So I had a little bit of a hiatus. I stopped. The last episode I did was back in July. Um, but um, the Boredom podcast was originally me, Khan, and my, uh, my, my, another one of my business partners named Bogans. Uh, we all three went to high school together, and... Uh, back in the day, we always used to, like, when a new album came out, we would just sit there and talk about it over dinner or something like that. And it always just ended up being something like that. So I basically had said, like, yo, this would be really cool if we recorded it, and nothing ever came out of that conversation. And then I did my own podcast called The Nick Boy Show a long, long, long time ago, and I interviewed artists and stuff like that. And I stopped doing that show because artists are really annoying and – I got really burnt out and really depressed and really fucked up mentally. And so everything happened. So I just stopped doing that show. And then I did boredom with my friends. And it was a lot, like, just easier. And then um, now, with everything that's, like, been going on, um, I have a new co-host who's also my engineer. His name's Zach. Um, he also is an artist named Black Francis. Um, we're going to be doing uh, not weekly. We're really just... The theme of it really is to use the word, like, for ourselves. Like, we're going to be bored. Like, literally, just so, like, whenever we're bored, we're going to record. And so, we're, whenever we do it, it's just whenever we do it. It's not going to come yeah. out weekly. It's not going to come out. It's just going to, like. Fuck you guys when you catch a lit streak. God damn. It's like, I did 73 episodes weekly, and then I just was, like, you know, like, trying to do this with, with everyone else that was on board kind of being not to their own like on purpose they were just everyone has lives so yeah. like con was like off like f a bunch of episodes and bogans couldn't show up to things and uh my partner sheila was i uh, was on a couple but she couldn't be on things and then uh my, my friend Cole train was on a couple and you know everyone just kind of being i was really the only constant in the thing and so i don't want to do a podcast like one of those podcasts where it's just like me talking the entire yeah. time by myself um, so I wanted to find like a co-host that would actually do it. And my boy, Zach, he's an engineer. So he is going to like run the whole thing instead of me doing it like I used to. And he's also going to be my co-host and then we're going to have more guests and stuff like that. So ultimately the podcast is just me talking to people. Like I definitely want like, you to come on and y'all to come on like for real and come hang out with me. Um, be dope. yeah, cause I, I really just want to. Just I just want to talk again. Like I really I just I just miss doing it because like I said I I've been on a hiatus uh, since July, Sheesh. and yeah so like I just just because life got busy like i I've, I've been focused on the shows and doing all sorts of other things and that's how it is bro heel tape and wombo combo and all that stuff like I just trying to do a weekly show like that which is not working for me and I even like try to do it like twice a week and try to do different segments and try to do all sorts of other stuff. It just, nothing was really working for me. So now this like kind of nonchalant way I'm about to do it now is, uh, 
Just do it on your board. Yeah, basically, really, for real. I like it. Yeah, so if it's the name, it lets you know, like, I got bored. That's yeah, I'm bored. really like, I'm really just bored sitting here. So we're gonna talk for like an hour with somebody, and yeah. So the first episode is just gonna be me and Zach. That's gonna come out. We're gonna record that here in two days, and then uh, that's gonna come out like the day after. So I don't know when this drops. I know now, right now, we're live, but I don't. Um, the, the official uh, cleaned up interview should probably be out. Wednesday. Wednesday. So yeah. So Thursday, next day, whatever it is, I'll have my podcast burning. going. Is something burning? Yeah. Um, yeah. What is that incense smell? Nice. I'm assuming something outside. Okay. I like I'm it. Go check the laundry room. Wait, shoot. What? <laughs> Let's check the laundry room. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. He oh, said, shit. "I think it's something outside, but I'm gonna check the laundry room real quick." That's so a great. Where did you find your interest in podcasts? Um, I always had an interest in like talking about shit, like. Excuse me, I love, like, coming on with shit like this and just talking, like, bullshit, just fucking, like, like, even though, like, we really, like, you had, like, talking points, but we didn't really do anything, we went on a whole thing about, you know, Maryland hugging Virginia and shit, like, I love doing that shit. You got to. Yeah, so, I mean, like, I love doing that shit, and, um, I was always, like, watching podcasts, like, on YouTube and stuff like that, and, um, I've always been interested in, like, sports talk radio and all sorts of stuff like that, and so, when I... I wanted at first, my first original idea was to, like, interview people, like, for YouTube. Like, sit with somebody and, like, record it. Kind of like this. Yeah. And just record for people with YouTube. But then when I figured out, like, audio podcast, and it's really just, you know, to instead of recording a song for two minutes, you just record yourself talking for an hour. Like, that's really the gist of what a podcast is. I was like, oh, that's easy. I just press record. And, and just we just it. go. And so that was kind of, like, where it came from. And... I've been doing that shit for three years now. What's, 2016. Um, what's one of your, like, podcasts you'll listen to when you just want to unwind? Like, not focus on anything. You just kind of want to t- zone out for a bit. But you probably want oh, to Joe Budden. Something. Joe Budden? Definitely. I I, I, like uh, Joe Budden? I love Joe Budden. Joe Budden is a character. Joe Budden is my man. I love that show. I was listening to it on the way here. I, uh, I, my, my day job requires a lot of driving. So I you just pop in the podcast. I just pop the podcast. Because sometimes you get bored of music, and I get bored of music sometimes. Yeah, I man. The problem when I drive listening to music too much is just the playlists start getting repetitive, weird. either oh, repetitive or weird. Sense. And then I'm like, yeah, I, I just don't want to listen to this, or it's gonna put me into a mood I shouldn't be in because I'm about to be driving for like an hour and a half. Yeah, I'm like I, I can't be all the way up here for an hour and a half. Nah, like, yeah. You know? Nah, I mean, I, I, I definitely listen to, like, mellow or music, but, like, as far as, like, podcasts, because I, I can really sit there, like, like I also, look, like, if, if Joe Budden doesn't have anything recent, I listen to my boy, uh, BC's Lounge, he's a, a podcast based in Richmond, he uh, interviews a lot of... Oh, Mike Beasley? Yeah. I didn't he's, know he had a, a podcast. What? Yeah, oh, yeah. That's like I, I would listen to it. Yeah, he's great. I'm going to be on his uh, shit here soon, I think next weekend. Man, yeah. I with that guy. I love Mike. Yeah, no. Shout out to Mike Beasley. He's dope. Me and him have a fancy football league together. It's really? Funny. Yeah, it's funny as shit. I didn't even know. I'm going to beat his ass week seven. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shit, fucking. So, um... But yeah, podcasting was just my shit, man. I, I love talking. That's really all it is. Like, Joe Budden's recent, like, backlash. So everybody's pissed at him right now. For Logic? For the Logic thing. Eh, I agree with him heavily on the Logic Okay, thing. I don't think I don't think Logic is a bad rapper, but... I've been I thinking think logic. I don't like terrible. logic. Like, it's Ever a, since Frank Sinatra too, like he's just declined so. Far. Nah, I don't like logic, but I'm not gonna tell. I'm not gonna say he's a terrible rapper. I will listen to some of his tracks. And I'll be like, he's not even saying anything. Did you listen to what, like how he said it in the podcast? How Joe Budden said it? No, nah, I didn't. Listen okay, to so the the setup was for real. It's the latest episode of Joe Budden, but like literally, he's. He did Logic did a song with French Montana, mm-hmm. and instead of playing the record, Joe decided to read the lyrics of Logic's verse, and he read them, and he like fucked the flow up and all this shit. And then they actually played the record, and they were just like sitting there laughing the entire time about what the lyrics were saying, all this shit, right? And then the song, like the verse, just stops, and everyone stops, and he just goes, "Logic, you are easily one of the worst." rappers ever and everyone just starts laughing like his whole all his co-hosts start laughing he's like to ever grace a microphone you should never touch a microphone ever again like and then like like nah man don't do him like that and like no i'm for real like i like because he's had like a like ever since like everyday struggle days i've been seeing him uh joe budden have like uh problems with logic so it's like 
fuck? I didn't I did not expect him to say something like that. It's but just the way he said it, bro, I was like screaming laughing. Because like God, I was like cause, yeah, because I was like, oh my god, that's I such a crazy thing to say. To agree with Joe Budden or anything, but that has to be like one of the biggest things I agree with him on. Bruh, so fucking funny, I have listened bro. to so many of logics. This because my friends would defend him so hard. So I was like, what are they defending? So I would study it and I have nah. listened to so many of his albums after Frank Sinatra. After Frank Sinatra he has just not said anything. He's rap, but he hasn't said shit. Yeah, I mean, same way I, I can't even quote him on saying some shit, making a point, because he hasn't. <laughs> I can't quote something that he's literally yeah. said that has made me, like, like my thoughts have been provoked by what he has said. Right. I honestly thought he he was a producer. Who? I, I thought Logic like, made beats. <laughs> I, I never knew he rapped. How did you think? Why did you think that? The only time I have listened to Logic, he made like instrumentals and shit. And and like like the only time I really listened to Logic, he was on a How I Built This podcast, what? talking about how him and his he, mostly his his uh his manager talking. That's why I listened to it. His manager's been getting him into some fucking problems. That whole the whole beef with him and uh, uh Jordan Lucas, Logic and Jordan. Them. That's just great. His manager. No, but like. He's the reason that any of that went down. Because the way Joyner told perfect. the story, I was like, yo, that had nothing to do with Logic, but okay. That was perfect then because that basically just got them both hyped. They did a song together. Oh, definitely, definitely. No, I mean, I, and it could have been a little, you know, contrived on Joyner's part, but I don't know. Could have definitely been. Could have definitely, definitely been. Because cause cause the way Joyner told the story was so weird. It was like, it was like I was going to do an 800 number song, and then his manager heard it, and then his manager... And all of a sudden, Logic came out. I was like, I was like, that play, I'm playing the manager on that one. That does one. sound like some Jordan Lucas shit, though. Yeah, I was like, I was like, bro, like, f- I was like, I'm playing the manager. I'm playing Logic at all. I'm sure Logic had no fucking idea that any of that was going down like that. But whatever. Because he is like go off king. Jordan Lucas, he's like, he's a really boring rapper that I will never listen to. But the shit that I have seen that is going, he does that. Him, sh- yeah, he does he that. Shot by points. Shit. He has valid points that makes you see something from both sides. And that shit is definitely what you need if you're going to be, like, one of those rappers that is a conscious rapper. He is, like, a both-side rapper, though. He loves yes. doing that shit. Like, when he had the dude at the, with the MAGA hat in his video or whatever it oh, was. Oh, yes. Like he that tried, shit. That shit had He Facebook tried to destroy, heated, destroy racism. Heated for three months. That shit had Facebook heated. <laughs> three months. To go yeah. viral for three months? Yeah. No, it was, it was wild. That Shout out to him, though. insane. Shout out to him, though. I'll do so, some flower. So, going further into Nick Boar. Yep. What's the future for Nick Boar? The future? Mm-hmm. Oh God. Um, what do you think? I don't think I'm really gonna be fully faceted until I'm like in my late thirties. When I'm really like, I think when everyone like, when everyone like in this room and everyone you know, everyone that I know and everyone like you see a Lulu and stuff like that, the new Virginia shit. When we're all like super older, and all the new kids pop up in Virginia, mm-hmm. I think that's when I'm really gonna thrive because i think because it's even happening like now like there's like new people who they see this is not on some cocky shit this is really just from me hearing stories about myself i don't really think i'm shit at all right now but like people really think i'm like unattainable unaccessible that type of shit and like just because it's because lovelace is it's is a thing it's a team of like 40 people now yeah and you know like i just told you like my head editor lives in louisiana like they see that strength and growth everywhere like and like the ig really just pops in richmond and all this stuff and i just think that lore is going to carry me into these kids thinking that i have some sort of cheat code and i don't but (laughs) it it it's already started, and it's so weird. Like, we make this joke, like me and Con, we have this joke where this guy that uh, knew us, I don't I don't actually know his name. Shout out to him, though. But he hit me up, and he had a he knew an artist from somewhere, and hit me up. He's like, yeah, man, this dude's really dope. Um, You should check him out. I was like, yeah, man, I'll do what I can, right? And he was like, nah, man, but you should, like, really, like, do what you do and make this happen. I said, I... I I don't usually respond to anything shit like that. I was like, bro, what do you mean do what I do and make shit happen? <laughs> He's like, I don't know, man. Lovelace is worldwide. You know what I mean? You could probably, you know, change this man's whole life. I was like. <sighs> you never know. 
No, I do know. I like if I could change someone's life, I'd change my own life. <laughs> like, you never know. I don't know, man. I just, I just it's, podcast, it's like we affected a lot of people just by like a uh, one follow. And that's great, man. And that's work. great, man. And and you know, like I I used to do some promo, and a dude told me one time that I when I helped him uh, promote his shit that he got like ten new SoundCloud followers, and like he felt so amazed by that. And I was like, I'm I'm glad, like I I could do it? that for you, yeah. But it's like I don't just like I get a lot of those comments and things like that and so it's just like i think once that really carries over and once i can actually like kind of back up a lot of the shit that people say about me yeah that's when i think i'll be so as far as the future goes whenever that's whenever that bullshit starts being real real that's when it's like gonna be so i guess the future in in my control is trying to make trying to back that shit up so it's like stepping into the shoes of the legend. That's stepping into the shoes that apparently I'm already wearing. But yeah, like I, I don't know. I don't fucking see that shit, bro. I really and like I've asked people like yo, like the, like, cause I was I was dating this girl at the time, and I had to I had to like ask her because she like knew about me before. Yeah. We dated, and then like we were just driving down the road. We're talking. I was like, yo, do you knew me as this like Nick Boer person, right? And I was, I was like, do you see that shit when we hang out? And she's like. I mean, when you're in your, like, your show element, I see it, but not really. And I was like, okay. So you see, like, this, like, kind of, like, I don't know, a character or whatever it is. that yeah. You know, like. And I feel like that's what it is with most personalities. There's, there's yeah. And I, and I don't. A brand. Yeah. Yeah, it is the brand. And you're right. And But, I mean, and, you know, and I'm, I'm also self-aware of, like, what people, like, say about me and, like, n- you know, and, you know, know about me and stuff like that. So. I do act a different way because of that. Yeah. But, like, I don't. I'm not gonna talk to you any different than when these mics are on and off. Like, I like I talk the, the same. same exact way. Like, if we were just sitting at dinner or whatever it was, I'd be talking the exact same way I'm talking right now. And that's real. Yeah, and like it's it's always that way, bro. I don't. You know, it's I'm always talking like there's a microphone on me. Whether or not. Yeah. So it's I don't know. So yeah, I guess fill in those shoes. I do right. have to ask, like, one thing has lingered on my mind. I have to ask this. Good. What was, what was the su- such a bad thing about dealing with artists, like, in a podcast? What was one of the things that you just couldn't stand? Oh, just people thinking they deserve it. Really? They just think that because they're they're making some sort of little fucking buzz. buzz that I should be dying to have them on. That was, like, my favorite part of doing the podcast was people hitting us up because we wouldn't get like enough in my opinion i would love oh see no out. that's i didn't have that issue i had plenty booked i i knew in i knew in may what was going on in october shit and people were still hitting me up but i'm telling them nah i don't have any fucking room and they're like yeah but like you, you should fuck cap? with me did you have a cap of like uh i was doing one a week did you i mean did you have like a cap of like how much clout they should have or something something no Oh, that's it was only if I fucked with them i mean like no i didn't have any like fucking if you had this amount of followers or we something we had a clout cap did I you? mean, now we don't because, like, before. Well, clearly you don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like that. It was like, nah, but I mean, but it was like we used to because, like, it was so much effort that we had to put in in order to like shoot one and then edit it and then get it out and then the promotion. So we okay. had to have like a clout cap in order to make it worth it because if you if you came on the show and you just weren't going to share it afterwards or something to make it worth it for us i had those was problems too, too a lot i had a lot of those problems where it was just like they come on the show they make it such a big deal about it and then Not like here. lily and artist came on um and they didn't share it until like a month later yeah. i was like bro you're this is irrelevant this is five weeks ago this yeah. is five episodes ago yeah. like yeah, yeah like we would shoot sometimes three interviews a week and that that would basically take out a day of me being able to work on anything else because now yeah. my computers having to put right. together all that shit, all that shit. Right. Yeah. yeah. So we had to put like. And I'm just doing audio. I'm not even doing yeah. video. So I mean, but like. Now we can live stream it all, so it's a lot easier. So we just don't care. People aren't thinking of the fact that okay, I'm doing a show a week. There's 52 weeks in a year. I can only give 52 people and I'm, like a and chance. Uh, a chance and. I also have my own people that I have to give a shot. I run an entire music label of artists that I have to give them a shot. Like, because those are just my people. Those are my friends. Those are my, those are the people I love. The people that look out for me. Like, I have to yeah. give them a shot whenever they want a shot. And then, but you're talking about who's someone I don't even know. You think you have all this uh, clout and all this fucking bullshit with you. Like, and so it's like, I don't care about you, bro. And like, so I had to like, 
kind of make that like click in my head because I was a nice person back yeah. in the day too. That that really fucked me up. It was just like I was like being nice about shit, but like you're not coming on board if I don't fuck with you. Nah, we were so like you're not <laughs> doing you're not doing it like it's straight up like bro i don't fucking know you like you s- submitting into my dms talking about oh put me on a podcast we've never talked not once you're not coming on like i, I don't even know how you are as a conversationalist yeah. i've brought people on that i don't know who can't have a conversation or like oh, we'll sit so there and just cool. ramble about stupid shit and i let them go because they're already on my fucking podcast what am i gonna just stop them the, the thing that always annoyed me the most was when they would hit you in your DMs and then pretend they watched the, or listened to the podcast. Oh, they never do. Oh, they man. never I fucking no do. We is, caught that like shit so early. the biggest one, because, you know, we do a video one. So the yeah. biggest one is every time they show up, being like, oh, this is what it looks like? And it's like, so you've never seen You've this. never that, seen that this? That would be the people yeah. that would yeah. go yeah. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. But most of the time, we would give them, like, a link and they'd be like, I've never seen this before. Well, then how did you find us? We would, we had yeah. such a great way of, like, trickling it down to yeah. like, weeding them out. Yeah. And, like, one of the people that we used to work, his name is uh, David, um, he would just whittle people out so easily. Yeah. And he was so nah, frequent on that shit. Yeah, no, fuck. It's, like, yeah, no. He did it too hard, sadly. He was, he was, he was harsh with yeah. it. <laughs> he, he, was, he was, like, he was like we're already making money type harsh. And it's, like, we're not making money. We can't be this harsh yet. <laughs> like, that's not, like, he's, because he's a businessman at passionate. heart. So, he was uh, very yeah. passionate. No, nah, it. But he would find us some really good people. Yeah, he, we, we, we that's great. We always joke that uh, David's, like, He's the battering ram that kicks the door open, but we have to rip him. Like, he has to go hide behind and let the real SWAT now run no, in man. and deal with yeah, the room. I feel that. Because if we battery. let him in, he's just going to He's just going to keep wrecking shit. Yeah, he's just, 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 just going to keep being a batter. Right. <laughs> yeah. So it was like, he's the door's already on the ground. He's still fucking. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got he's you. He's going through the, the kitchen. He's fucking up the kitchen table. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's fucking up other doors. All the tiles and shit. Other doors, they don't got locks. Knock them all down, yeah. He done broke the door in the kitchen fridge. He's like, he's going to open that bitch. <laughs> we're, we're we're in. <laughs> I was like, that's what we used to say, bro. We're already in. Nah, we man. Say that shit. Yeah, the, nah. The fake love for this shit too is like they never that heard a podcast so in their weird. fucking life. They have no idea what a podcast is. They just know that it's an interview type thing. They they're thinking of Hot ninety seven and Breakfast Club in their fucking head, and that's what they want to be on. Yeah. And so they see that oh, this dude runs one. Let's fucking get on that there shit. Was, there was a level too, like where we could catch it because they would all talk the same. And that's what we started pinpointing. Yeah. It's like they had like a certain lingo, and you could tell like, okay, that, you're just uh, you're not dodge. even a fan. You're just trying to. Yeah. Like when, you, when you ask them a specific question about their actual rap, oh, they would, or their what, what they're going with it, and they always had that like that lined up dodge of yeah. nothing specific. Just like, you oh, you know, like I'm really thinking about getting good liners. growth. I've been working. It's just kind of like, what? what specifically are you doing? It was doing? like no. such good one liners. It was like one liners like, hey, I fucks with this. Let me be on. It's like, do you have something else? Do you have like nah. a way to extend upon that? Uh, do you not? Do you have a way to make this a paragraph to make me see like you truly want it? Because the people that have ever truly wanted it, regardless of whether or not we have said something bad about them or we had like anything in which we reviewed any of their stuff and it might have been yeah. a bad review or a good review, they've shared it with lovingly passion, and that's what like something you can just read so easily. Yeah, I love with those people. Those people are great. Yeah, but it's awesome. it. Yeah, it's yeah it. I don't know it. Like shit like this too, like the 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 painting, the yeah. painting shit that we're you know with that. I mean, I'm I'm doing a little bit, but like I the like but I'd much rather like I would rather much rather not do interviews. I'd much rather like bring people on and just have a conversation about shit. Like I'd much That's rather cool. like I'd much rather have the entire like we'd just sit here and talk about wrestling and football the entire time. I wouldn't care. That's like that's what I want. Like, because yeah. at the end of the day, that gets like if people look into it, if people are realizing what's happening, that's getting people. Who are watching your show to get to know me because of my love for wrestling and football. That's your job as an interviewer to do that. Yeah. Yes. Through that. Not just, oh, how'd you yeah. get into, you know, that that's type of shit. Like, like, you know. have preset questions. Not that, like you said, we didn't even cover all the shit. No. Now we but didn't it's get like, to. we have them. We have them. You have them just in case the conversation goes south. But that, yeah, and, you know. Like the dry air. On, yeah. It's like we want to have they a don't, conversation yeah. with them. So it ends up being this because the guest you bring on doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah, yeah and they so don't talk need, enough. Yeah, but I've been doing this shit for years, so that wasn't going to happen. The, the biggest ones I love are, it's like, as you also know, it says 25 minutes, but we, we've hit an hour already. It doesn't really? feel like a fucking yeah. hour. Oh, I took that out. That was oh, my best. Yeah, it doesn't oh, okay. say 25 yeah, minutes yeah, anymore. It used to say we used to only do them for 25 minutes because nah, too many people would just... They would come so they, like said, they would think they know it's what they easy. Want, to, no, it's easy. To, it, it, with a good person that, that knows how to talk, it's easy to get through an hour. Yeah. But with a person who has no idea, twenty five minutes is forever. 
it yeah. does. And that's what we used to find. I was just like, I didn't know what to talk about. He was so weird. And everybody be like, that's yeah, bad nah. one, bro. And I'm nope. just like, I ain't, I ain't know I what to do. I would be like, I don't even want to edit this. <laughs> yep. He's like, it was it so was... bad. I don't even want to put it out. And I'm just like, I didn't know what to do. I didn't, the, the kid just, he just wouldn't say shit. Yeah, yeah no. Nah, I might. He was just so cool. Like, definitely yeah. one of my like prerequisites yeah. for like my shit now is like, if, if we've had a conversation before, sure. Yo, but man. if I've never spoken to you before, you're not coming on my show. I'm sorry. So that's one way. Of like, 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 or if I've, I've if seen. you want to copy our format, you can definitely go with <laughs> like, that because that shit will get you through 25 yeah, minutes. Yeah, <laughs> I feel you. I started noticing uh, if people, if like I've never met you before, if you really want to get on, talk to them on the phone. Like that too. I, I've noticed like uh, sometimes oh, yeah. when I get done with a phone call, with people, I'll, I'll look at, it, I'm like, whoa, we talked for 50 minutes. Before? Yeah. And I yeah. Was like, okay, you know what that. I don't like we talk business too, but we can clearly hold a conversation together for no. longer than just twenty minutes in a exactly. day. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's a big. That's note a big to me now that I know. Like that's okay, what we saw are... with Five O Trez. Like that's why we like bringing him on. Like that shit would get yeah. fun. It gets out of hand and it's funny shit. We we'll get <laughs> drunk and we'll just talk about some dumb shit. It's mostly Pornhub, but <laughs> it's funny as shit. That's just great about like all my guys too. Like when y'all had like Con and Omar. Like those those guys are all like they like that too. They they can talk like yeah, and like Con. You know Con Con's had. He's been on my show. He's he's at his own wrestling podcast. He can we fucking talk. Again. We should. Because last time Omar. that we had him on, it was like, it, they were both very, like, it was quiet in my opinion. But was that was it? because, like, I didn't know most of what was going on, so I couldn't ask, like, most of the majority of the questions. Was that the same it. episode that someone pulled chicken wings out of their pocket? Oh, God. It must have been Twan. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> that is terrible. Because I don't know. Remember, I couldn't remember if that was the same fucking episode or if that was a different episode that I watched. Like blaming him that, like, Bro, you keep chicken wings in your, your pocket, box, bro. <laughs> Dude, that was yeah. probably mostly us flaming Twan and asking them questions. And they're probably watching this shit the whole entire time confused. Like, who the fuck are these guys? <laughs> this nigga just pulled it. He did do that shit. Yeah. That shit embarrassed me so bad that I didn't even know where to go to the same yeah. shit. <laughs> I was like, I just met these guys. That was nuts, bro. God damn it. Why did yeah. you do this? And he's just like. He's like, what, bro? It like, he's just like, like it was just normal shit. I just, I understand content to such a fucking letter that, like, I loved every minute of oh all that shit. And God. I, and I know, like, I know for a fact that Khan and Omar were super fucking, like, awkward because of, I mean, it was awkward. But, like, <laughs> for me, watching shit. it, knowing Khan and Omar, like, as I do, hilarious. <laughs> like, watching those motherfuckers just, like, the face on, like, the look on Omar's face and everything going on. Like, oh, my God, yo. What amazing. Oh, my God, yo. Yeah. If you ever rode, the, rode with Twan, the prerequisite to that happening, we rode with him. He had chicken in him. He just opened up his glove box and just pulled out chicken. I said, Not bro, once, what by the way. What? I I because I ride with him. I, I used to. Ride with him. He's done that multiple times. He just pulls chicken yeah, out of his glove box. There's no way that was the first time. There's no way that was the first time. Yeah, no, no, no. That's why I think he I, felt I comfortable, bro. He pulled that shit out. Yeah, that's why I don't know if I. I'm sure I mentioned. You I watched. Like, he pulled it out on camera. It's not like he just like oh maybe I should. He didn't walk away. Maybe I should hide that shit. <laughs> like he should have. This man got priors. <laughs> he legit <laughs> does the shit. Do you yeah. name episodes on this? Huh? Do you name episodes on yeah, this? Yeah, we do. Uh, you should call it prerequisite because that's been like the word of the day. Oh my but, yeah, god! I, I do that shit on my podcast. We, whatever we like, whatever like the running joke is to the podcast, that's what yeah, we do. Prerequisites with Nick Bohr. There you go. That's fire. Painting with friends. Oh my god! I fucking talk all day, bro. I loved. I that's what really got me into podcasting. I just love talking and bullshitting. Jeez. And honestly, if I could keep like a microphone on me at all times, I would. I, see, that's what, before we finally started all this shit, I used to joke around because a lot of people, because I would have, like, long conversations with people about all types of shit. Yeah. And they were just like, yo, you should just, like, walk around with recording equipment and just yank it out of a backpack whenever, because we, we'll just talk for two hours about you know I mean? if anything. It didn't, if it didn't take so long to set up. And then um, him and David finally, we, we finally started doing it before when we could make money on YouTube. Because all we had to do Y'all was do money anymore? one video a day. And it, all I needed was 10 views, one video a day, and then we would hit the 1,000 views a month mark, and yeah. we would have started getting paid. And then the whole Japan and um, what's Logan, this Paul, dude, Logan Paul shit. shit happened, and then you know YouTube changed all of its monetizing. Really? I didn't know that. So much money. I didn't like, even know that. We already it made, I think, uh, 12 bucks. We, like, we started making money. Oh, dog. We said 10 happened. views for a video, bro. We was hitting hundreds. We, we, like, it's, we were hitting, when you get a when team together, like we so many shit. and then it's kept going up. Once then. you get a team together and you, you put a, a number on it and that's all you got to do, that number goes Prerequisite, way higher. Man. Yeah. It just, <laughs> once you got the money in the eye and we were all so money motivated, but then once YouTube like 
that shit that's definitely something so different different about me. I'm not mo- money motivated at all. You're not I, money motivated. No I'm sir. I'm not money motivated. I'm more of just uh, I do what I love, and if money comes, money comes. I have people literally in my like my business partners. I talk about I they they're literally in charge of figuring out ways to make money. I'm not. That's not my shit. That is I have a I have an entire like board of people around me, which kind of adds to the whole like little fucking everyone thinks I'm like unaccessible and shit like that. But I literally do have like a, a bunch of people that I I talk to. They're all my business partners. They're all they all have their own like kind of categories in which I go to them for and stuff like that. And like like Bogans is like my money guy. And then like she, yeah, like Sheila's really like my business person and stuff like that. So, but like I. It's cool when you have at the end of the day, bro. Like when when it comes to like the events and stuff like that, like I like my number one rule in Lovelace is have fun. Yeah. Like I like I literally anyone who joins Lovelace knows my two rules are have fun and don't make me look stupid. That's it. <laughs> and if you can't follow those two rules, you can't be in Lovelace. That's it. That's the the because it's just easy. And if you can't do one without the other, then go away. <laughs> that is funny as shit. It's not all that's the only rules I got, bro. Like I like when it comes to the uh the magazine and stuff like that, I don't ever assign anything. Everyone that's in there written about anything, all those articles you wrote, they all came up with that on their own. That's lit. Never told anyone to write anything. Unless it came to me all of a sudden. Like, yo, what I should I wanna write something but I can't I don't know if I can write about this. I've done that before. But other than that, like it's always like literally, like I'm. I've been trying to find new writers like recently, and dude was like very confused when I was telling him that. He was like, "No, but I mean, like, what do you want me?" To? I was like, "What do you want? What do you want to write about?" He's like, what? He was like "I don't know. I like kind of like okay, write some sports shit." Uh, he's like, "I don't got a prompt." No, yeah, like, no, I don't. I don't, have, I don't have a subject. I don't have. I don't. Oh like, yeah. Oh yeah. Word count. Uh, I laughed. I was, I, was like, I was like, I don't care fuck about word count. Write ten. Like, like write, fucking, write one paragraph, boy. I don't care. Like, I don't care what's up. Yeah. I don't. I don't really like. Make it not a a, a sentence. Like, <laughs> make it look like you tried a little bit. I guess I don't know, but I don't have a word count. I, I like, love that shit because it it I I love that kind of management too because I I feel like that's kind of you as a manager and it really mm-hmm. pushes people. They don't know they're being pushed yet, but it really pushes them to be themselves. to yeah. Find what interests them yeah. instead of give because you know all school we had these prerequisites uh, of what you have to do. Yeah. Whereas like. Just telling them no, whatever you love. I don't. You can mm, write do about it. fucking Princess Barbies for all. Yeah, years. fucking That's do it. Love, give yeah. me a paragraph Review about fucking that. Barbies all day. I don't give yeah, a fuck. That was like, one thing that stood out to us when we were looking at the magazine. We we're like, this is a magazine, but the paragraphs are long, variety. and like. Oh yeah, we had a actually, fucking. The first article was like Syria, and then we had something about Kaepernick, and then we had fucking something like Nike. Like, but like, what, what interested us was like, the article cared. It wasn't yeah. just an article to be an article because they came up with what they wanted to care about. It that's was something. something that, that, that they they me. And that's that's yeah. what that's what shook me because I was like, it wasn't just this wasn't a magazine just to make a magazine because that's like what we would have done and no. like our shit would have. been I so used to write for a blog, like a very popular blog, um, and no offense to them because this this is how it works. Yeah, they give you an assignment and you write about it. I was always given assignments that I didn't know shit about. So my ass is trying to do research and trying to figure this shit out, and then I s- submit this bullshit, and then he has to fucking go back and figure out what the hell I just put down. And now it becomes work because now you have to. Yeah, because I don't something. fucking Instead know. Of writing what you know, you now have to right. research. It. People that don't. Shit that's one thing we learned, by the way, when we first started trying to get more people to help us with yeah. like, the podcast and shit. We we tried to assign some people like jobs, like kind of no. research how to do this so we can do it. And then no one ever wanted to do it. So I was like, all right, fuck. So like, we just had to play to our strengths and we had to figure out what they were good at. What they, yeah, what they wanted to do. If they, they pretty much showed they they don't know what they want to do, then it's like, all right, then I guess you're everyone. Out. Like, I'm sorry. but yeah. Everyone in Lovelace yeah. has created their own job, too. Like, literally, I, awesome. I, my, my head of merch is the chief merchandise officer. Um, his name is Jeff. He's also a rapper named King Coltrane. <laughs> um, my name is Jeff. <laughs> but he he was sitting there. We were talking about clothes or something like that, and he was talking about like fabrics and stuff like that. He was like, he went off for like ten minutes about fabrics. I was like, "Yo, you're about to get a job here in a minute." And he's like, "Say less." And I'm like, "Fucking say less, bro. You fucking get you're you're my merch guy now." Talking about some fabrics. Yeah, it's like yeah, like 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 everyone's d- developed their own fucking job, and like really, my my one guy, uh, shout out to uh, Zo, his job title has changed like four different times because of how he was feeling. Like, just like, yo, I don't feel like doing this shit anymore. I feel like I'm doing more of this shit. All right, bet you that guy now. See, that's what we tried to do, but we tried to, like, I guess we tried to play it too consistent because most of our team, like, we found 
that if they didn't fit a circumstance, they were all very money motivated. <laughs> so you had to kind of like, you got to like pull them along in a way. There's people that are, that literally, they're, I wouldn't say money motivated, but money focused on that's, my that's team. That's what it was. And, but that, but they're that job for a, like they're those people. Those also like, are like my, like personal best friends. Like they fully support what I do yeah. and fully support. They just want to do what I'm doing and just want to see me succeed. And you made that, uh, difference by the way because there's i think there's a big difference between money motivated and money focused yeah because if you're Cause doing something yeah because if you're money like motivated you're, you're work without money right money focused is i'm gonna work and no. find out how to get us lovelace is non-profit no one's but anyone who's getting any money out of lovelace is putting money in lovelace mm. that's how my company works that's awesome yeah so like right now like when it comes to shows a lot of the shows is my money so no one else is making money you know why you're not making money don't come to me talking about where's my money You've never put a single dime into my company. Do not come to me. Talk, and I'll talk to anyone like that. I was like, oh, like, bro, like we, I've, like, I made this very clear to everyone. Like, yo, if you want money, bring me some money. I'll figure out what the percent, fucking percentage is, and when we get profits, you'll have that percentage. I promise. I need to start talking to some people. But it's just <laughs> like, yo, if you're just super upfront with everyone, like, they have no choice but to respect it, and if they don't respect it, they don't belong in your circle. Sheesh, that is a lesson. Yeah. I'm, I'm taking a whole hard life. That's the, the bit I hate having to do money negotiations with people. Cause, like, I hate it, too. I hate like, it fucking, too, I'm bro. I'm too nice of a guy. I, I had a circumstance. The re- I don't like I'm, I'm too stuff. much nice of a guy that I'm literally not even allowed to take meetings anymore. Because <laughs> I get so on, by, on my own. Like, alone. Like, I'm not allowed to take meetings alone anymore. I have to have a babysitter. Like, oh, literally, like when we, made, we just uh, signed this new deal. Um, I'm not going to talk about it right now because it's not ready yet. But... We just signed this new deal. I had to have like King Coltrane with me yeah. to do it because none of my other business partners could come. Yeah. And uh, uh, but I'm not allowed to go to anything because the last time I went alone, I signed like this huge fucking like to do this festival because I got because I just got so excited and like I just went, oh yeah, I want to help. I want to fucking do this, 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 and this, and we could do that. And like yeah, yeah, yeah no, don't worry about money. And, like oh fuck. Now, now, every night, now we're trying to figure out all this bullshit, and then yeah, the man, festival didn't like, even ha- happen, yeah, and all this it's shit. Like that, it's like, it's yeah, like, and so like I literally like I told, like s- this is me being self aware again. Don't let me do any form of fucking meetings on my own. Like never. It has like, to be like that. Yeah, it has to. Because that's how I used to take all my meetings. It wasn't so much that I would do be, be bad at it. It's just like I knew how I looked to most of the people with like venues, mm-hmm. and they're looking at me like. Oh, it's just some black kid with dreads. He doesn't know shit. I'm going to hustle the shit out of him. Yeah. So I would always make it a point to bring somebody dressed super professional. And then I'd be dressed as an artist. And mm-hmm. then we'd have numbers on us because numbers would always make the whole entire talk turn into a different thing. Because then once you caught them with the money, then like everything went my way. Right. And that's how it always worked. Yeah. And you always got to keep that second man on you because somebody's always going to say some shit. You don't understand. You're not going to catch. But then person with yeah. me. Like, hold up. Have that yeah, right. On them. Yep. Ready, my, set, um, go. Favorite things to do is reading contracts for uh, filming and like TV and stuff. Like mm-hmm. that's what I do. Mm-hmm. So I, I'll, I have to read contracts a lot, and the wording in them is so. Oh, it's messed up. It is the most annoying. Like they'll have four pages just to say like, "Don't be a dick on set" type shit. Yeah. But it'll be like four pages long and all this legal speak, and I'm just like, why is any like. One, why do you have to tell people that? And, like, a lot of them, they'll have, like, 17 pages on sexuality. And I'm like, why does any of this matter for this contract right now? Like, what is happening with the world we live in? I have no Terms idea. and conditions. No one reads it. That's yeah. why everyone's afraid of their data. Blah, blah, blah. Last contract, that was, like, 40-something pages. I was just like, bro. Nope. I'm not going to lie. I started just skimming through after, like, 20. I was just like, I'm Can't I'm, do it. This is too much right now, man. They've already, they've already got everything. It don't it's matter. That legal speak, man. Thou. I can't wait till I have money for lawyers. <laughs> yeah, because then they can go through all that bullshit. I'm I never touch it once. They can clean it up for me. My oh. business partner reads all that. Shout out Bogans. Bogans? What does he read? All of it. He has to. I love that too. That's he's not gonna. Crazy. He's not gonna let us get screwed. He's gotta, gonna get screwed just as much as me. Gotta oh, clear shit. through Bogans real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're Bogans. Real quick. My man. I have an app one day that just reads through legal people. Yeah, legal, yeah. Sure. Duh, legal, Embrace it down. What is, what's the fucking website? Legal. Legal Zoom. Legal Zoom. Yeah, that's a. It's legal Zoom. Yeah. Oh, it actually like does that shit. Yeah, they help you, yeah, they help you a shit. lot with legal shit contracts you if you want like, to start your own like, business. Like all that shit. All that, yeah. they'll, they'll, if you get the advisor, like they'll legit stay on your ass. 
It's legit. They it's call helpful. you up and everything. Don't make it like the one all BR thing, but if yeah, you're yeah. just getting into it and you don't have money for real lawyers and all that shit yet, it's a really good help. Yeah, it's this is not an ad. Advisors. Yeah, it's not an ad, <laughs> but it's like it, it's a bunch of like lawyers studying to be lawyers. I know enough that, people that you know, they help. So I was so. just like, yeah, shout them out. Like, try really, to leave us really on this shit. Yeah. Yeah, I think if anything got like super, super fucking serious, I would I would contact my cousin. He's he passed the bar. Okay. Yeah, so I would just send it over to him. Like, yo, hey, yo, hey, read please help me. Yeah, because otherwise, we're both fucked. I might die. Lawyers is one of those weird things where you have to study so long to learn the law, and yet police, it's like six months, and you you can enforce the law. Oh man, they don't know shit. <laughs> That's why they get so scared when you start talking some shit they don't know. They're like, I'm going back. No, away. they get defensive first, and so unless you say you're a lawyer or an attorney. They get so mad at you, like you don't know your shit type shit, and it's like, no, I do, because cops hate when. Because Google doesn't exist, and YouTube reason. doesn't exist. Yeah, I always hated that. Like cops hate when civilians know their rights. YouTube like, it's University. Like, so mad, and I'm like, like, why are you mad like, that your citizens are educated about your government? Because now I look, I look I, I dumb. Can't flex I look on you. dumb. I look dumb. <laughs> That's it. I just look dumb. especially I look dumb on camera, and it's just like, yeah, well, I brought out the camera because you guys normally do dumb shit. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought out. I was gonna get a clown show, so dance. Yeah. <laughs> you record me, I'm gonna record you. YouTube you University is the best school in the United States and the world. YouTube University. Yes, I've passed multiple classes. You that can I learn. Figure out how to fucking pass. You can learn anything in YouTube. Like, it always geeked me in high school. My friends would take like physics classes and shit, and they'd be like, I was up, like I would see them at the, the vending machines in the morning, and they would just be like. Dude, I was up to like one in the morning studying how to do these math equations on oh, YouTube yeah. for my test, and I'm like, so then why are you in this class? Right. It's clearly the internet's teaching you. Like, <laughs> I hated school. Shit was terrible. I hate it. I hate how it's run. It needs to be changed. It needs to be tore down. It needs to be free. Yes. That too. Yeah. So we're nearing our end of like our interview with you, mm -hmm. even though it's very cool talking with Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Is there anything else you want to bring up or any shout outs you want to give? Uh, board on coming soon. Um, What's boredom? Boredom's a podcast. Okay. Um, That's already out. Y'all can go. Y'all can go. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. There's, there's, there's definitely stuff out, but season two is coming. Okay. We're, I'm starting over. Um, lovely, she's gonna keep doing shit, man. I don't really know. Like, yeah, heel tapes out. Wamba combos out. Uh, road tape season approaching. Um, Feral Vision Records. That's my shit. Um. That's it, man. Salute to y'all. Appreciate y'all having me on. Other than that. Thank you for coming on the show. It's yeah, man. This is fun. Sheesh. I got the DMV and a sunflower. I didn't draw anything this time. I That's drew cool, a man. lot. Like, before we, we started, so I'm kind of, like, drawn out. Drawn out? Yeah, like, these I These are the best, like, yo. I like drawing only to extend until, like, it's gone, and I don't feel that emotion. I'm going to buy these markers just because I want these markers. They Not are so funny. You want to smell some markers, and we can title it Nick Bohr and Vaz Hayes Smell Markers. Now we got to keep prerequisites. And you can just get a screen cap of this. This will just be a screen cap of this. <laughs> look at the look at the camera for a little bit while we just And that's gonna be a screen cap. If that's I had my sunglasses on this whole time? Yes. Wow, I'm fucking these are prescriptions, so I never think that they're my sunglasses. I was wondering that for a second. Wow, I'm a fucking where's that? Actual called? fucking prescription? Yeah, yeah, look, you can't see. I'm not gonna do that. This yeah, don't you can't right. fucking see it. <laughs> but you can tell like the prescription. I'd Totally did not think I walked in here on my prescription. I'm so sorry. My sunglasses, yeah. I'm a, I'm a dick. <laughs> I fucking walked in here alone. Like, no, I'm sitting here like, why does everyone think I'm so high up uh, with my sunglasses on I in the building? Rational man, Randy Savage. Yeah. Well, I guess he had the Trump eyes though. Trump eyes. Randy what? He had those like the weird tan line around his eyes. What is that thing called? That's amazing. Uh, kalimba. Uh, kalimba, I believe. Kalimba? Yeah. Kalimba. Um, thank so, you African for watching Street. Painting with Friends. As usual, I'm Vaz Hayes, and this is the end. It's Vaz Hayes. Is it Vaz Hayes? Vaz Hayes. Vaz Hayes? Yeah, it's Vaz Hayes. That's amazing. Some people call me Vaz. Yeah, because Hayes. Yeah. But you be wherever you want, bro. Yeah, I'll be wherever bro. My name is... Is it you? No. What? Vaz. Nah, that's V A S C. Well, there's no Z in Vaz either. Yeah. That thing's amazing. You wanna play with it? If I can play anything. Yeah, you can just play it. C fucking. Oh, yeah. Show's over, guys. Thank you for tuning in. 
We'll be back again Monday at 2.30 p.m. Um, we might, though. Are we going to that thing Wednesday? What thing Wednesday? I mean, Thursday. I'm sorry. What thing Thursday? Are we going to the keynote people's thing? Oh, I'm going to that. Yo, that's my people. They run a... Uh, keynote runs his own branch of Lovelace. Really? Called Lovelace Valley. Those are my guys. Of, uh, going and live streaming it to test out a live stream. Also. Yes, yeah, please yeah. come, yo. Yeah, we're They're on the Three that. Kings tour. They're I fucking amazing. Yeah, please come. I don't know how well it's going to work because it's going to be our first test, like, going to a live stream. I, event. bro. If, I, yeah. I wanted to do it. A perfect place to fucking live stream, definitely. Let's do it. Yeah, those all three of those dudes are fucking amazing. Keynote's like Keynote's my guy. Yeah, he, he came to me many years back when, uh, like, right out of high school to help him with the music video, but back then he was, I think he was still working at figuring out his voice, so I don't know where he's at now, but... He got really good. He's amazing. Yeah. He got really, back really when good. when I first met him, he wasn't bad either. He was amazing. Back no, then, yeah. He, just, he didn't have it. I don't think he has, I don't know what he's like. It still amazing. seems like he's too shy to put anything out, yeah, but like, like well, he's put out an EP. Yeah, but it's not even on like any platforms when I asked him about it. Oh really? Yeah, that's what he said. Like he said, I'm not really out on any platforms or anything like that because I'd asked him for like some it's information. Probably for a reason. Yes, yeah, so I don't know what he's doing, but like, people are like really afraid of the the cease and desist shit. I'm not. Yeah, I don't I, care people are really afraid of that I'll shit. I put anything on YouTube. Like mo- some of my artists were really afraid of it. They were like, I don't want to be on there because I don't want to get in trouble. And I'm like, fuck that trouble shit, bro. Oh, the yeah, trouble just means trouble you just means you're doing something, bro. Yeah, they're just gonna tell you to stop and then you stop. Yeah, I mean, you even, wait until they take legal. They say they're gonna take legal action. Until they take legal action, you're good. So. Well, they, even if they do yeah. take legal action, even cool. Like, we're gonna go to court with fucking Nintendo. Let's go. Even like when you accidentally print somebody's logos on your shirts and you sell them, like all they can tell you to do is wrap it up and stop, and that's it. Also, what's the worst that happens? I don't like what, that shit. They win the case and you just go like, I can't afford that. I'm just gonna. I'm bankrupt. I can't afford it. Yeah, that. pretty much. And then you just, you don't give them any money, and then you just keep doing your fucking life. Yeah, that's what you do. Like, yeah, I can't afford that, guys. I, I'm filing for bankruptcy. Yeah, as soon as I get it, you got it, friend. <laughs> Intellectual property means absolutely nothing. nothing. As we learned from China. <clears throat> and Disney. Are y'all afraid of that data shit? No. I'm on the side of, uh, once we all know of our skeletons, there's nothing to hide anymore. I think too many people live in fear. Wait, say that again? Once we know everyone's skeletons, there's nothing to hide anymore. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? What do you mean by data shit? Like, okay, Facebook obviously has everything that you've ever done or said. Yeah, yeah. Google knows everywhere you've ever been. Are you afraid of that? No. Okay. Because I'm like my 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 viewpoint on that is just like. Are we still recording? Yeah, yeah, we're still going live. We're still live. My viewpoint on that is like, um, I love, I love when we get in conversations and we're still going. Like, fuck yeah, keep going. Um, I'm sorry. Fucking, uh, um, we're, we're we're gonna be going to like a universal consciousness eventually. Whether yeah. VR is gonna be the one that starts taking us there, or we're all gonna be little dots, or something. Yeah. So it's like, I, I'm afraid all data of the points. corporations getting too much power. But I'm not afraid of them having all of our information. Boy, you're afraid of that? It's too late, man. Well, yeah, exactly. It's too late, but we can st- we can still stop them. Like it's not it's never too late to stop them. It's Brett, I'll be yeah, when it's too late is wave. when they destroy your conscious country. Wave we never said the shit. name of these markers, but I bet if we did, we'd get an Instagram ad in a couple of days. Probably would, Mister Sketch Markers. I like I there you go, ad for $15. bro. I used to work at the ABC store, and they would give me all types of liquor ads on my Instagram because they thought I was in there every day, which I was, but I wasn't in there buying alcohol. I was in there selling it. And so they would give you like Smirnoff and fucking Tennessee yes. whiskey and all. I got a good story about that actually. Mm-hmm. When I was in Europe last year, I was I was in Pisic in the Czech Republic. They have it is it is a small little town. Literally the whole town is a, mi- a square mile. One mile that way, one mile that like that's a yeah. whole fucking town. You know, give or take. Like it's mm-hmm. under two miles pretty much. And um I was walking by a shop and they had clothes oh, on the like, outside. I saw pants like this. Nice little pants like this, but they were, like, extra large. And mm-hmm. I was like, oh, I can't wear that shit. So I put them back. The next day on Instagram, I got an ad for those exact type of pants. Yeah. I was like, how do they even know this? I never took my phone out. There's no fucking street cameras because it's a small little town. How the fuck did they know I was looking at that shit? They heard you. It was wild as shit to me, but I was all by myself. I, I don't talk out loud. It was weird. weird. I don't it was know. the creepiest shit to me, bro. Wait, you said you were in Walmart or whatever? No, 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 I was in Pisic in the Czech Republic in a small little town walking mm. by a store, and they had them outside. You know how, like, what was the store? I don't 
fucking, it's a small town. It's just some whatever name they named. Like it. a mom and pop shit? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a mom and pop little small. That's insane. Yeah, because I, I know for a fact that that shit's like taking your location. It's taking, it's hearing you. It's yeah. fucking. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's. It probably took my location and knows that that store exists there and what I was probably looking at, maybe. Because the, the algorithms are insane what they can do. I'm getting one of these. Um, yeah, they're fun. This is like a harmonica where, like, you can't really go out of tune. You remember like the Batman movies? How he they always like linked up everyone's cell phones to hear and see everything. Oh, that Lucius Fox I one hundred percent think that's gonna become the reality we live in. Well, somebody, else, somebody else phone caught you off the fucking. They was talking and they caught you off the thing. They saw oh Aaron Kimmel's in well, the yeah, thing. Well yeah, no, I think I think we're gonna get to an age where you can see a digital reconstruction of this whole room. Yeah. Like how they did in Batman. Like you won't see it in detail, but they'll you'll be able to make out you from the sound bouncing around you and all that. They'll mm. be able to make out who you are, who he is, what all these objects are. Like it'll be not perfect yet, but I fully believe they'll be able to take this. Well, Google's already got the outside. I think they can already do that shit. You know. Yeah. Well, Google's- I mean, I think they, the military probably has shit like that, but I mean, like it's gonna become, you know. Google's already got the outside. Yeah. So yeah, they do pretty much. I'm in every, and, um, I work for an engineering company. I literally like will like in order to like look up a new job, we type in the address of the job and we go to it and we look at it. Jeez. <laughs> like, 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 it's just like okay, so this is this is this. I can't really see past here, so go there and see oh, what's up. Google Street View shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The only thing I feel with like corporations. I was using like, that uh, this morning to see if Octopus's Garden still exists. It does not. It's just a tobacco shop now. You just got to check the year. The only thing I fear with, like, corporations that take information is, like, one day all that shit leaks and all the other countries see what other countries are doing. Good. If so they're, like, that's too involved. Happening. That's perfect. And that shit triggers a war. That shit would be, like, crazy. But mm. here's the thing. They're as already also involved. As corporations to be in all these countries, it won't trigger a war because then they're going to they're gonna just bribe all the politicians. Like, hey, 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 let's not fight. It's going gonna, it's gonna to ruin all of our products. Along yeah, but all, the bi- all these countries that are in business together, we yeah. owe China, what, $4.2 trillion because we Ooh, are in we business with them. We a trade agreement with them, too. I can finally get my shipments back. All right. I don't know. Like... In my opinion, the worst the worst that they can really do, unless you're doing something illegal, is use your data to fast track you shit that you were already going to buy. Which is Target apparently has been. Uh, yeah. In the in the news. For What's what Amazon day? does all day? They fucking they send me emails all day of shit I searched. Yeah. You know, it's like it's You'll like. Get the, hey, I, you were looking at this. The other we week. saw you, you were looking at this. So then this one's on sale. Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to buy a pipe bomb this week. That was last week. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not, I'm really not trying to go to jail right now. <laughs> it's like, what, what do people have to be week. afraid of at the end of the day? You have. Well, it's only if you're doing know. illegal shit. That's what I'm you saying. Like, yeah. Know. But it's even not that because like, if you're doing illegal shit, what illegal shit are we talking about at that point? Because a lot of illegal shit shouldn't be illegal. And even if you're a terrorist, like most of the time, they have to push you more into the act and get somebody to befriend you. Yeah, because they, you they, they, they let you, you they let act. you build the case. Yeah, because they, they can build never your own case up. Yeah, they can never stop you because technically what they're doing is illegal. So. Yeah, that's what they do with it nine. That's why they well, have it's to not really illegal, illegal, but it's like for law enforcement, it's illegal. For corporations, we. Somehow, I don't know how clicking I accept is a legal binding contract, which I don't fully think it is. Yeah. I think you technically have to sign something in person. I don't like. I don't know how checking a box and saying yeah, I agree. I don't think that's legally binding, honestly. But I don't. I don't know. Apparently, it seems to have been. I just know for every single thing that they find out, they gotta put a man in. You gotta join the Hell's Angels in order for them to catch you. And they gotta, they gotta know you a rat or some shit. You gotta join gangs, like yeah. in order for them to catch you. At least have to infiltrate you. your own life. To yeah, that's what I'm saying. They gotta, they gotta infiltrate every single thing, whether or not that's it's a bikers was, club, it's a fucking hookah shop. They gotta infiltrate it first before they can build a case. I was case listening on to a podcast about anything. this uh, over the weekend. Actually, they were, um, they were talking about how like because they can't legally just be like, oh yeah, do we know exactly what they're doing? Let's go arrest them because technically they got the information wrongly by buying it off corporations. They have to then they all they can do is tell the cops we know they're doing this, you need to now catch them doing it. Yep. But here's here's literally all of the facts of what they're doing. But now you have to get your own information so we can build a proper case. Otherwise, you just can't do Man, shit. Man, shit's crazy. I know I know old dudes. Which is why the mafia back in the day was the best because as long as you shut the fuck up and help your That's community, you your community defends you, so they can't go door to door being like, hey, can't have you been noticing some strange shit with Johnny? They're like, oh, here. Johnny, I love Johnny. He comes by every Saturday. He brings me and my husband casserole. He plays with little Billy. I love Johnny. Oh, he really cleans up the block. Like, 
Mm-hmm. Old school mafia shit, man. You get the whole neighborhood loving you, and the cops can't do no, shit. No, nobody anymore. touch you. Yeah, no one. Sh- fucking everyone shuts the fuck up. Man, I know old dudes who got out of jail, bro. They literally have stories of how like they have friends, five, seven years. One day the, fr- the friend was like, "Bro, you done told me everything while we was fishing." I'm undercover. And he's like, shitting me. Mm. <laughs> Gone for 20 fucking years. Because they had a friend. A friend for five to seven years. Who's the best smelling? All I'm going to say is, I don't, I'm sure you've noticed it, but in the past five years now, um, I've been watching how I speak when it comes to business. Yeah. I've been choosing my words carefully. You'll eat, like I'm sure you watch me. I'll like pause real quick and be like, "What's a legal way I can talk about some fucked up shit without incriminating myself?" <laughs> like I, I've been really practicing that for a while now, just because I'm like, "Yeah, I need a I need a good out." I, I got to be like, I "Actually, I never said that." Uh, if you go no, back to never. the tapes, I, this is I, what I said. You didn't even catch anything. Well, that's why that's what I was saying earlier. Like I, I always talk like the microphones are on because. They're always on. They are. Yeah, they like are. so, it's like, like I like. You're not gonna really catch me saying anything Too wild. totally un PR. Here's the thing: the wildest shit or to PC me is or whatever. that. You know how like Verizon and Comcast, their new their new remotes now listen to you. Like you can talk to the remotes. Oh, that shit scares. Apple shit TV out. one already does that. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not like Verizon was like, here, update your box and get these remotes. I'm like, no, I'll update the box, but I'm not putting these fucking remotes in my house. I'm sticking with the old school remotes, man. You're out of your fucking mind. Like, I already have my phone listening to me and my laptop listening so to me. So from that statement, seven. though, I would say you're afraid of it, though. I'm not afraid of it. I just don't want to accept I don't want to accept it. Okay. Wait, yeah. can I talk into it and it search the show I want? Yeah, it's like... Theoretically, me, but it always has to listen to what I'm you like, say. Dragon Ball Z episode 156. Yeah. It's Something like, like that. boom. I'm like, yes. Yeah. So yeah I'm not like, because if, if information ever Ideally, out, yeah. I'm not afraid. I'm just like, I'd rather you don't do this stuff. Because what it does is like, for me, I don't give a shit. Because yeah. I'm going to be the... In, the ignorant piece of shit I am when I want to be. Right. But there's a when you do shit like that, it literally forces your society to think and act a different way subconsciously, this. even though they don't know it. I kind of so, want this now. It could be like big black bitches versus big black cocks, and then it'll be like got this pay per view thing coming up in like a couple. Well, my, my uncle has that shit. It, it doesn't. It doesn't well, if it doesn't that do that, I don't want it's that. It's so shit. basic. You I like? I asked him. I was like, so can I just be like, hey, Comcast, turn the TV on? He's like, no, it doesn't work that way. So I'm like, what the fuck is the point of remote listening do? to you? What does it do? It's just the Iron Man that comes up. You can up. like tell it channels and shit like that. Like it, like it's literally for fucking lazy like, Americans who blind? don't want to just change the channel. Am I real fucking quick. blind? What the fuck do you mean? Yeah. Like I can't see the buttons in my blind. I can't watch I guess TV for anymore. Blind people, but they already have remotes for shit like that. So. Yeah, I don't know. It's just I don't know. I think it's more ways to get into your house. And I think it's just, it, it, that's Alexa like shit. It slowly subconsciously like Alexa. makes people act different. That shit's gonna call the cops on you. Like when you put. Nah, I'm more afraid of that thing growing legs and. Eating oh, me and me. yeah, well I'm not doing anything. You know what? You know what's gonna suck though, because you know it's gonna happen. Like how most cars now have like satellite radio in them, whether you sign up or not. Eventually, almost all cars are gonna have like that Bluetooth. You just talk to it. Well, mine already it's, has like, it. Directly to Amazon or Google or Apple, like, it's already linked to it. Mine's like, is correct. Uh, it's it's like the Ford's thing called Sync. That's yeah. mine's already connected to it's that. It's gonna become the standard eventually, and then at that point, I'm pretty it's sure it's down. already the standard because my car's a 2011. Did you want to draw on this goat? Yeah, mine's a 2011. Am I going to draw on it? Did you want to? Oh, uh, sure. Why not? Okay. We graffiti all of our logos. Word. 420. Man, Is Kimmel your we... actual last name? Huh? Is Kimmel your actual last name? Yeah, yeah. That's nuts. Salute to Jimmy. I didn't know what to uh, what to name the. Films thing, so I just used my actual name. And I just said it's probably like one of the most uncreative parts in your whole entire life. Yeah. Out of everything else. Weren't y'all like real shit right now? No, no, no that, that's that's a subsidiary. This uh, is a production company, and then those are the actual shows and shit. So. Yeah. So boredom. Like, yeah, because I used to be like double up productions, but that was double like, up. Yeah. But then someone else took that. I'm not fucking creative. I'm just like, bro. God damn it! Like this is still a real what shit. TV thing. Okay, cool. Shot the real shit then. So, A. Kimmel, I thought A. Kimmel Films works because it's like, it's A. Kimmel Film and my name is Aaron Kimmel, so it's all, like, it, a. it's Kimmel a double film. Uh, Don't ask him how. <laughs> <laughs> cool, man. Nah, I'm, yeah, I'm always interested in, like, Lovely started from Happy Feet. I knew it. Knew it. The Penguin. I love that Penguin. Robin Williams. 
Most, he was, he was, most, most, that was so dramatic, bro. Most iconic fucking uh, comedian of all time. Robin Williams played the penguin from Happy Feet named Lovelace. And he was like... That dude was shiesty. Yeah, he was like, he was like wise and he was also goofy. Nah, he was a whole shiesty dude. Yeah. Everything he was saying was wrong. Yeah, he but was it was like, just like... Why do I got the bitches? <laughs> but people, why do I got the bitches? But people like respected him. People respected him though. Because he was shiesty. He was yeah. wild. He was a I don't know, bro. guru, bro. Yeah. He said, love lace. The love, love bla- guru. <laughs> <laughs> no That's my shit. But he had all them rocks. I ain't gonna lie. He, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He tricked all them fucking people. And he had that rocks. fucking uh, six-pack ring on his fucking oh, neck. Oh, that dude was so stupid. He said, I have been blessed. I have been touched by the gods. <laughs> he was choking, bro. He was. He was and slowly got, dying. That shit and got, got real. What he got? He got like fatter, I guess, right? No, nah, that shit just got real. That shit got tighter. That's what it should do. Damn. Yes, you can't. That, that plastic shrinks. Damn. All that cold and shit, like that plastic you're right, shrinks. Yeah, 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 you're right. That's plastic like, shrinks in heat, not cold. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know how them animals get their heads in that bitch. Oh, I'm just saying, plastic shrinks in heat, not cold. Whatever it does, that shit constricts at one point, and then it gets. No, what it does is it slowly gets further down their body. It starts at a point to where they're capable yeah. of putting it on, and then it slowly just stretches, mm. and they can't get that shit off. That's I have no idea what the problem is. Yeah, that shit. They get trapped in that shit. That shit's crazy. Which are penguin? But it's also, I feel like, because it's I'm assuming hibernation, so they do eat, and then they like you fluctuate weight. Sometimes, yeah. You got water weight. So that fluctuates. Most of the time, it's just them swimming through the currents, and that shit just gets forced down, and then. Currents, yeah, water. It's fucking Squidward with the fork in his throat. (laughs) 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 You know what I'm talking about, right? You see that episode as much? He's like, and then Squidward died. Watching it, watching this fork that should clearly just be stabbing through his neck, just. That shit gave me so much anxiety. SpongeBob has so many. Parts the one that like Squidward, I feel like, got tortured just the most. Remember when they were moving his couch or something, and he they like, hit his toe, and then like, they broke oh, it for it, and then they ripped it off and shit. God. Oh. <laughs> and then they had the little, they had like the little ligament thing still stuck onto it. I was like, oh, oh my god, gosh, the nerve! SpongeBob. They pulled the nerve out, bro. I was just like, you can't. You're a children's that. cartoon. You got some fucked up. You have worse gore than I've seen in any horror movie in the past decade. Yes. Like SpongeBob, just they knew how to. Fucking scar you. Crossy Crab is unfair. <laughs> Mr. Krabs is in there, standing at the concession, plotting his oppression. Oh shit! Hey, now, look at that. We all know the chant, yet no one fucking starts unions. No, fuck that. No, I don't know. Hey, fuck that. <laughs> fuck unions. I mean, we might. We need- <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we might. We might. Unions. Once everybody gets their licenses and cars. You know what I mean? What do you need a car for? Carpool. Not my favorite SpongeBob thing was when yeah, uh, Squidward like played dead. You didn't realize like, how stupid what you just said kind of is. Like is we need licenses to union up to carpool, but if you created a union, you could probably fight to have a shuttle bus pick up your employees. Or you could fight for bu- better public transportation, so carpool wouldn't be needed. I never had to start a pro- uh, protest or a union. I don't know. Fuck no, protesting doesn't work. You need to just unless your protesting is <laughs> obstructing stuff. You need to do, uh, what is it, um, fuck, civil disobedience, where you obstruct stuff without violence. If that's not the protest you're doing, marching through the streets doesn't solve fucking shit. You need to do civil disobedience. If you see advertisements, that was Aaron you Kimmel. paint whoever the fucking company is and turn it into art. Like, you know how, like, <coughs> Sheets, for instance, you know how like, all their it. trucks are just big graffiti trucks yeah. and they're beautiful shit? Civil disobedience, you go and you spray paint sheets out. So you don't see sheets anymore, you just see a beautiful graffiti truck. Like, that's civil disobedience. Fuck the company. Look at the beautiful art. Um, fuck Foss. this courthouse. You, 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 you fucking Foss, glue each it. other together and you do shit like we that. Found it. So. <laughs> oh, God. We found it. Yeah. We did it. Bro, I'm very passionate when it comes I to I see. That. Child of fashion, bro. Throwing corrupt governments and corporations. I'm very... Because people do it wrong, man. As we all know, protesting... The sh- what the fuck was that woman's march? That was nothing. <laughs> let's, be on, let's be on... Did anything happen? No, I don't know. Like, nothing fucking happened. Bitches, nothing. Just like, a bunch of women said, Pussy grabs back! And that's a fucking all it was. And I was like... Nothing none happened. Of I love women, man. No one's I saying they don't women. love women. I'm saying... I love women. I'm saying marching doesn't I'm do shit. Saying. And that woman's march... That was the biggest march in America since Trump's I, election. I thought something was going to Nothing happen. did shit. I thought like, yo... There's nothing. No new laws. The, the nothing fucking out. happened. But no one lobbied happened. their congressmen. No one lobbied their senators. Nothing fucking happened. They just marched in the street for two fucking days, and that was it. I love women. Nothing fucking happened. What was it for? Exactly my point, dude. Marching doesn't do shit. You need to do civil disobedience. I love women. Or nothing happens. <laughs> 
shit. I really don't know what the fuck that show is for. That's why the fucking Dapple Pipeline fucking protest never did shit. Because you got to do civil disobedience. Yeah. Sometimes you got to fucking destroy property. Even you, you don't hurt people. You hurt property. And property that you don't hurt like your, your street property. You don't go throwing bricks through fucking, you know, your downtown pizza shop. If you see like an oil company building a pipeline, you destroy the pipeline. But you can't do that if it's already running. Then you get oil everywhere. Before they, before they open it, you destroy it. So that's what you got to do. You're going to go to jail, but you, you're doing the right thing. You're fucking them up. You're making them pay for repairs now. You got to fuck them up as much as possible. You don't hurt people. You hurt property. And you don't hurt property that's in your own town or other people's towns. You don't hurt storefronts. You hurt, you hurt like, shipping facilities. If it's, a, if it's like the Amazon um, fulfillment centers, you hurt those things. Slash truck tires, shit like that. I'm not it's kidding. Like, like, that's civil disobedience. That's women. what you're supposed to do. That's the state where most women get beat, though. Was it what? That's the most state. This is one of the states where women get beat up the most. VA? Virginia? Yeah, Virginia. Yeah, we say we're the, uh, we're the for state lovers. for lovers. Yeah, yeah. Sodomy's still illegal in the state. And this is, this is the biggest job. state of domestic violence. They just get beat up. Sodomy, we have an anti-sodomy statute still in Richmond. Sodomy is anal. We should do that. No, sodomy is anything that is not uh, for procreation of uh, sex. Oh, so, so if so you're like wearing hands, a condom and fucking like a bitch, that's technically sodomy. Yes, fingering a bitch is sodomy. Uh, oral sex is sodomy. Anal is sodomy. I've never sodomized. Technically, anything. fucking with a condom we on did would it. be sodomy. I would, it's never, not I would never sodomize anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everyone thinks it's just anal sex, but no, sodomy is any kind of sex that's any kind of sexual activity that's not for procreation. That's sodomy. I'm glad I came in here with my sunglasses on. <laughs> 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 Yo, we should make this the new slogan for Virginia. I love women. Yeah. That should Teach be. Teach some people some shit. Yeah, because that doesn't scream out you definitely Hit are women. a problem. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have to announce that you love shit so much. I love women. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. Damn, I learned some shit, bro. I learned some we shit. We did it, bro. Processing. By the end of the thing, we did it. Yes. We got a Kimmel. You, you got did it. Did you do that at once episode? Huh? Did you do that once an episode? Um, it's rare. Only it's probably like. Only when lovely it's people like, come on. <laughs> like, one out of three. Give me the mic for too long. If you give them the mic, uh, then you can do it. But if you give them, like, it's like one out of three podcasts. Okay, every third one. So, damn. Yeah, also, well, let's sometimes be honest it's two. People love listening to shit like that. I'm not dumb. I've been practicing, like, my rants, bro. But here's the thing. I used to. Where do you practice them at? My, myself. The no, I where? To, I used to practice them with in the friends. Not in front of women. Just anyone, <laughs> friends, anyone. Not okay. in front of women. I used to, I used to do it at. Uh, at not at the marches. A lot, but I started realizing, like, the PC culture, like, people thought I was just hating the world. Oh and I'm like, no, I'm making God. real good points right here. You guys just don't like it because. That one lady like wanted to whoop your ass. You had so many black. I've been in so many instances where black women wanted to whoop your ass. That's what the rant is. Because I'm saying fucking facts. Nah, you were like. saying some shit and they would just get pissed yeah. the fuck off. And I was just like, it's funny though because when I, I talk, would be geek, it's so funny though because when I talk to like woke black women, they all fucking agree with me. So yeah. it's like, yeah, because I'm not talking. But most bullshit. people who just make a blatant statement, and as soon as they make a blatant statement, they're just like, no. <laughs> no. Nope. And then from that no, it's just triggered. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's my favorite thing to do is trigger people honestly it's funny oh it's shit like, i don't get triggered you're fighting with emotion now you're not using any actual oh god he didn't he didn't shut down cy so many times it's funny as hell um shout out to cy he could to he could tell me as a show yeah. idea i used because i love stand-up comedy a lot C-Y. when i was a little younger a lot of my influences were like lewis black and doug stanhope like the angry at society comics like george like end of the i loved all of george carlin not all of his stuff but after um, Train Conductor and Onwards, I love a lot of George Carlin, but towards the end, you know, he, he was just hating society a lot. And so, uh, that's a lot of my influence is just ranting about how fucked up the world really is. And we can fix it, but people need to See, do I it See, I used to right wonder. Way. I was like, why does he talk like an old man so much? Yeah, a lot of, and you're, a lot of you're my, talking influence, like a lot old my influences man. were angry old men who were like, <laughs> oh, man, the, the society's fucked up and we can fix it. You guys just got to stop like, accepting it. You gotta stop normalizing eighty-hour work weeks. You gotta stop normalizing poverty. Yeah, that you gotta stop crazy. normalizing homeless people. Yeah, we gotta. You gotta stop. stop normalizing that we don't have universal health care or universal education. Like you gotta stop normalizing that shit. You gotta. You gotta stop normalizing PC culture when it gets too advanced. Uh, like all the genders we have. Let's be honest uh, here. I don't give a fuck what you want to call yourself. It's called decent respect. Women. But you shouldn't be forcing people legally to respect you. Once you do that, you've gone too far. Mm. Like it's that simple. I... <laughs> love. You know what I mean? Like they've done in Canada. With those safe space things. I love safe space. Yeah. It's my safe space. My safe safe space. space. I am reality, cold and dark. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> no, I love South no, Park. My safe space. It's like no. Uh, All right, so we're gonna wrap up. 
you said we were gonna wrap up, but now we're God really wrapping up. You guys up. still streaming? Yeah, we're, we're about to wrap up now, though. Who the fuck is that? Press play. I love that dude. Yeah. Shout out to press play. What is it? We streamed for almost six hours today. Now we're three and two. Yeah. yeah. Seven. We I'm two sorry, five. just okay. now. Five. five. One new follower. One new follower in five what hours. What program do you use to record audio? Um. OBS at the moment, but sometimes what? it'd be laggy as shit. Like this whole episode, I'm gonna have to resync everything when we release Damn. the official thing. Like, you guys' logic. audio have been out of sync from the video this whole time. Oh shit! I didn't want to stop you guys in the middle of it and be like, "Hold up, let me try and fix this," because I'm gonna have to close out the program and start fucking with shit. So it'd be like, "Yo, Man, I'll just, uh, it's it's actually in sync." Wait, yeah, it's in sync now. Ah, that's weird. almost. That's weird. But, so okay. We, I don't know how it got out of sync when it was in sync. The last thing we just did. Me Lovelace, Fair Vision, Prerequisites, I Love Women. <laughs> and I'm Vaz Hayes, and um, I love... Do you love women? I love I love. Land. I love fucking this thing. What's it called again? It's like kalimba. kalimba. What? A Kalimba. I need a Kalimba. I love... Sheila, I need a Kalimba. I love Lamp. Thank you, Moth. You love what? Lamp. Lamp. Don't move out to West Virginia. I like turtles. Mothman. I love that. Right? That's West Virginia, right? That's Mothman? Right. Yes. Yeah. yes. I love lace. If anybody knows where that, uh, that, that reference is from, you know, shout out to you. All right. Just I like turtles. <laughs> I don't know what that one's from. You don't know that one? Oh, I was a little kid at some DJ festival. Play. And uh, hope you uh, figure out what you decide to do more early. Because I think you already answered your own question. You just got to figure out how you want to do it. Yeah, I think you know. But it's not like you were looking for advice anyway. You already knew what you were going to do. No. We just never. asked him what, what was the problem. Yeah. What it's, was his problem? You, you never seen Anchorman? Oh, it's fun. I will tell you right when we end. Okay. Okay. Shot D press play. You know Anchorman, right? You've seen Anchorman. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I love Lance. Hey.